<laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Liz Star. You're watching Blast the Process. It's the online speedrunning marathon for raising Sega awareness. That's, of course, the awareness of everything Sega. So I'm proud to present Suprix, who's playing this game on the Xbox, the most Sega console that you could possibly get. Isn't that right, Rix? Sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is this game you're playing, Rix? Uh, we are playing Jet Set Radio Future for the Microsoft Xbox. Fun stuff. Uh, you, We are ready to go whenever you are. Count us down. All right. Okay, so yeah, simple countdown from three. As soon as I get to the title screen, and we'll be off. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, so to start us off, we have the tutorial. Uh, there's no way of skipping this, so we're just gonna have to bang through these challenges as fast as possible. So if you can't read Japanese, she's just telling me to jump once, jump three times, uh, grind, get cans. You know, usual basic stuff. And we're running on Japanese because it's faster than American, I assume? Uh, overall, yeah. Gotcha. Is that mostly um, text, or is that also, like, are there tricks that work on Japanese that don't work on um, American? The only difference between versions that I know of is uh, just language, and uh, we save time in cutscenes. Um, gotcha. There are certain can there are certain cutscenes that are faster in English. Some are in some are in Japanese, but uh, in Japanese we save several minutes over the final two cutscenes in the game. So we play on Japanese for just the ending, basically. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so I personally have never played a Jet Set Radio game. So mm -hmm. it's a game where you're on roller skates, and what is the goal? You spray um, tag stuff? The goal is the goal ultimately is to overthrow a fascist government. Uh, you have oh. at your disposal uh, futuristic rollerblades and magical graffiti that can explode tanks and yeah. helicopters and DJ incapacitate K, people, K, uh, specifically cops. Uh, you know, you know. Wow, uh, this is a this is a timely game. <laughs> Yeah, timely or timeless, I guess. Yeah. I love this guy. <laughs> this guy's amazing. So, um, although we're in Japanese, the cutscenes are in English because you just can't replace uh, the voice actor. He's just too good. Um, and unfortunately, uh, cutscenes are not skippable in this game. So, if you don't know the story to this game, uh, you're about to. Because we're going to be watching all of it. Boy, how much time is that? I think someone timed it, and I think there are 20 to 25 minutes of cutscenes. <laughs> wow. So, uh, here's hoping for a remaster so we can skip all that shit. This is the second Jet Set Radio game, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, there's one on the Dreamcast, uh, the Sega Dreamcast, not the Microsoft Dreamcast. And, uh, <laughs> the Microsoft Dreamcast. And there's also a, like a port on the GB, I think, a long time ago. Oh, wow. And yeah, that's gotta be absolutely amazing. Do you play both of them or just this one? I play the Dreamcast one and this one. I have never touched the, the Game Boy Advance one. It, it, is that like... From principle, or just because you haven't gotten around? Just because, like, you know, there's. I don't know, I feel no desire. All of the desire is taken care of by the other two games. So. That is absolutely fair. Okay. We don't really need terrible ports in our life. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're me. Um, so, what got you into running this game in the first place? You play it as a kid? Um, it's the first game I've ever speed on. I've gone on to do like after the games, but uh, it's like your classic. Like I grew up with this game, and I never get tired of it. So I figured, hey, it'd be good, good one to speed on. And uh, luckily, it's also fun. So, yeah, that's what got me into it. Awesome. I really love this guy. <laughs> yeah, we go through a whole journey with him. Okay, so I guess I should explain uh, the category. 
Um, we are not doing any percent, we are doing souls percent, uh, which is basically beat the game while collecting every collectible uh, group of soul. Uh, basically a way to think about it is it's a 100% category, but without all the monotonous bullshit that is actually in 100%. So basically, if you've played, the, if you've 100% in this game casually, you know that there are 140 graffiti souls in the game. Um, 15 of those, wow, nice boost. 15 of those are uh, actually given to you as bonuses. They are not tangible items, so we're not going to we're not going to worry about those. Uh, that leaves us with 125 souls, and 20 of those are given to you at the beginning. So we're going to be collecting 105 souls uh, throughout this run. Now. There are some souls that are just laying around the level um, just by default, and you can go pick them up any time. But for the other souls, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have to collect uh, an item in every level called a mystery tape. And what the mystery tape does, it has certain uh, gameplay challenges such as grind combo, air combo, uh, consecutive tricks, consecutive points, and then there's also a special challenge unique to uh, the layout of uh, each different level. So. Basically, I'm going to be entering a level, doing it up until I can collect the, uh, the mystery tape. And then once I get the mystery tape, I'm going to do all the challenges basically in one combo as fast as possible so that we can unlock the souls as soon as possible. And then basically we're just going to collect everything uh, as quickly as we can and then we can do that for every level. So there's really not a lot of downtime and a lot can go wrong, so hopefully this uh, goes pretty well. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Gotta keep positive. Yeah. Someone in chat, uh, Burr Speedruns, is he uh, also mm. a runner of this? Because he seems to know a lot about uh, it. Yes, he's actually a brand new runner. He just got oh. uh, a new PB today. Congrats, Burr. Well, thank you for um, answering questions in chat, Burr. That's really cool. Uh, he's just um, answering and talking about why we're playing this character specifically. Mm -hmm. Uh, you want to go into more detail about that, or is that, like, not a big deal? So, um, we are going to play as not this character that you see, but we're going to play another character oh. as, as another character called Gum for the majority of the run. Um, but we're not switching to her just yet. Uh, we're going to do chapter one, which is where we are now. We're going to do this chapter as Yo-Yo, who I'm playing as right now, because it just wastes time to open up the menu and switch characters. So... There's no, there's nothing really in chapter one that Yo-Yo can't handle, uh, so we we just stick with him to save time. And then and we're gonna be we choose Gum because yeah. why? Uh, okay, so there's some important movement things I should explain. What you're gonna be right. seeing me do a lot of is something called quick turns. That's basically I could take a few seconds just to show you. That's a quick turn. That's a quick turn. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm skidding to a halt and then moving uh, the control stick in another direction right after. And what that does is, is, is it allows me to dramatically change direction without losing my speed. So that stat's really important for um, just like fluid, fast movement and not losing speed in general. And that technique, uh, it's better, it, quick turns work better the higher your cornering stat is, depending on the character you're playing. So Yo-Yo, for instance, his cornering is kind of not the best. But Gum's cornering is really good, and she's unlocked like right from the start of the game, so we play as her for the vast majority of the run. Gotcha. Now there's one exception to that. Uh, much later on in the run, we're going to be switching characters to a character called Clutch. Uh, his cornering is also uh, awful, but um, he holds more cans than any other character, and we need that for like late game boss stuff, so that's the one exception. But... So yeah, that's why we choose the characters we do. Alright, cool. I'm I'm mesmerized <laughs> by this. <laughs> like it seems like okay, so I'm trying to imagine the gameplay. Like it's it's hard for me to follow having never <laughs> even seen this game before. Yeah. Is it like open open world in the vein of like a Mario 64 kind of thing where it's like one big old level? Um, yeah, the, the garage is your hub, and then it connects you to all these different levels that unlock as you progress through chapters and stuff, so it's basically open world, yeah. As opposed to the yeah. original game, which is set, like, instance levels, and it's oh, a huge see. departure from the original game. Is that, like, 
a good thing or is that just like a, hey it's another thing it's probably um i like it better because it improves the flow of the game a lot i feel because you're you're not just like doing each level off like in a checklist it's all just one fluid thing that takes place in different levels i feel and i like that a lot more in a, in a speed game so luckily, while we were talking, uh, probably no one noticed that I messed up several stuff, several things. Uh, the most important one of which is that I missed one of the challenges. I didn't do air combo, which was kind of dumb. It was the very first challenge of the game, so hopefully that's not an indicator. Um, I missed the combo, that's not good. So what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna wait till these... Cops die. There we go. Air combo, one, two, three. Okay, that's the first soul. That's what unlocking a soul looks like. Now I just got hit by a truck. That's okay. Okay, and now we're gonna do our first soul unlocking sequence of, of the run. Uh, so that was grind combo. That was points. So now we're gonna do tricks, uh, consecutive tricks, which is that. Uh, do I have my follower notifications on? Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> if you heard that. Go <laughs> give him a follow! He's great. <laughs> <laughs> Should've turned it off. And uh, I just unlocked the special- Okay, just got hit by a bus again. I just unlocked the special challenge in this level, which is basically just grind that street down on one combo. So. This is Shibuya Terminal, uh, the city's biggest non-stop dance party. Let's hit this joint and, and we're gonna go back and pick up those uh, souls later on, or did you- Yes, that's actually the one exception to the general rule of thumb with this category. Usually you want to unlock, collect souls, and then finish off the, all the graffiti in that level like in one visit, because usually that's faster. But there are a few exceptions where we get souls like on a second trip. And uh, for different reasons, uh, for different levels, it works out to be faster. So those souls we're going to be picking up in chapter six, which is like an hour-ish from now. Gotcha. Wow. Setting stuff up all the way, like an hour behind. Yeah. That's the sign of some good shit right there. <laughs> That's routing. That's routing. Um, does this have like a big community? Or <laughs> um, the community is pretty small, I'd say. But uh, definitely very dedicated. Uh, we have some very old boys uh, still running this uh, oh, periodically, wonderful. so that's pretty cool. And uh, as you see, we have new runners uh, all the time. Whether or not they laugh people, is a different story, but people keep coming in, going, "Oh, I love this game!" So yeah, it's yeah. got a it's got a cult following at yeah. least. Yeah, this game being a launch title definitely uh, helped it, I think. All right, so this is a rival gang, Poison Jam. We're gonna be uh, dealing with them for basically the early game. They're like kind of like the bad guys of the early game until we move on to more serious shit. So, uh, <laughs> so we're gonna be doing their challenges while we're getting souls, just to uh, advance the story. Yes, um, the special challenge in this level is called 13 Platforms. It's one of the several special challenges in this game that has a lot of trouble registering, even if you do it perfectly. So we have ways of sort of dealing with that. Uh, it, it obviously changes depending on what the special challenge actually is. Um, but for this one, I just want to... hold on. Uh, air combo, one, two... oops, I got hit by a bus again. That's not good. That's okay. I have a backup. Okay, so this is going to be grind combo. Right there. This is gonna be points. This is gonna be tricks. Alright, and since I messed up air combo before, I'm gonna have to do it here. One, two, three, four. Good. Alright, let me grab this. 
And we move on to the special challenge. Now, the challenge is to hop on these 13 green platforms without touching the ground. But like I said before, it has trouble registering even if you do it perfectly. So what I do to deal with that is I hop on each platform twice to give the game a second shot at, like, registering, I guess. Um, usually it works pretty well. The only exception is that gray ramp to my right there. Uh, that counts as a platform, but because of the way ramps work in this game, you can't hop on it twice because it's just going to send you flying. So hopefully it, you, this uh, challenge usually works the first time, but if it doesn't, uh, that gray ramp is going to be the first platform I revisit because it's probably the one that screwed everything up. Alright, so then there's the second and last one, there's the last one, and it worked good. Perfect. Good. Let me grab that. And now we finally get back to Poison Jam, who has been patiently waiting here for us. <laughs> How nice of them! How does the, um, so how do the, you, you keep doing like tricks and all that, so mm -hmm. how do the, how do they work? Is it like, um, Tony Hawk or something uh, like that? No, <laughs> tricks are completely <laughs> random. Uh, oh, It's just, okay. the, you do, you jump off of a rail with enough speed and then the game does a trick. Uh, does that really make it matter. difficult for any of the uh, challenges? Uh, no, all tricks are worth the same amount of points. Uh, the things that uh, vary the points are um, like your multiplier, so how many tricks you link up with the proper timing. Uh, so I'm tapping the X or Y button uh, with proper timing to do like combos. So that's what I'm doing. And also, uh, oh, one thing I should mention about points challenges is that there are certain hidden rails in each level that are worth double the amount of points. And so if you do combos on those rails, instead of an 8 times multiplier, you're going to get a 16 times multiplier. So uh, doing points challenges on those is basically a necessity if you want to do it fast. And some challenges are impossible without you finding the hidden rails first. Gotcha. Whoops. Now, um, oh, what, like... What is a hidden rail? Yeah, it's just like something that doesn't look like a rail. Um, that you can yeah, I mean they look like just normal rails. Uh, but oh, oh! <laughs> you just sometimes it gives you a 16 times multiplier. Uh, I screwed up uh, the easiest challenge in the game, so I'm gonna do that again. Uh, <laughs> what happened was I got caught in a rail and I didn't land in the proper area, so whatever. I just have to do it again. It's, it's no big deal. It's okay. We won't tell. There, that's the casual way of doing it. So yeah, no, I'm gonna be messing up a lot of stuff <laughs> in this run. <laughs> a lot can go wrong. It is a it is a long run. Yeah. What is like the um the variance? Would you say? Well, what's the world record? Uh, world record I set uh I think like two three days ago. It's a two twenty six. Oh wow! Um, so that's like a that was pretty good considering um, an average one. An, excuse me, an average run can vary between two twenty eight to like a two thirty four, depending on how much goes wrong. If you screw up absolutely everything, you're probably still gonna get less than two forty if you know the route. So that's why I chose my estimate. Which is why 240 is your uh, estimate. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That makes sense. Yeah, I have a lot of faith in myself. But yeah, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but there are cop fights in this game where you win by spraying the backs of the cops. Uh, I, I was just about to talk about that. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's, it's like... Uh, so, so yeah, um, they, these cops are early, like, easy mode cops, like, beginning of the game cops, so they only take, like, one or two cans to kill. 
But uh, we're gonna be upgrading the cops uh, pretty soon. And, and you collect cans on the street. Just yeah, for, like, uh, that's you your can collect cans like, on the street. Uh, if you tackle cops, two blue cans will spawn. Blue cans are worth five cans each, so they're super duper valuable. Um, so yeah, cans are in some places everywhere, and in other places there's not enough cans to save your life. So those are gonna be some pretty good tough spots, especially in Chapter Four. How many chapters are there? There are practically eight chapters, and there's a post-game chapter nine, but uh, that's, uh, just like once you beat the story mode. Gotcha. Is that? Are we going to that, or is that? No, not we're not going to that. <laughs> no, uh, 100% goes to that, but uh, which also, you said is not very fun. It's. Uh, <laughs> It's like four and a half good hours and then three shit hours. <laughs> so that's why this is the, the better category. I know, I know what that kind of thing is. It's like going around trying to find all the Korok seeds or some crap. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, I just started doing that. I'm up to like seven. Seven Korok seeds? Yeah, almost there. <laughs> Oh, you mean left. Yeah, no, I mean I have seven. Oh! <laughs> Good job! High five! <laughs> it's a lot. Oh, is that our girl now? Yeah, this is best girl. Her name is Gum. Um, yeah, she has the best coin. At least so... I think. I haven't been able to see her face yet. <laughs> Just keep seeing the back of her back. I'm counting on y'all. So yeah, that's our first opportunity to switch characters without losing cans. Um, whenever the game gives you an opportunity to change characters, you don't lose cans, but if you instigate the opportunity yourself, then you lose all your cans, which is why we don't change the gum in chapter one. Gotcha. I was wondering, because you said it took you said it took time. Yeah, that's sort of my default reason. The actual reason is that you lose all your cans. So. Alright, so here's our first instance of real, like, top dialogue. Wow, I'm going to do this. Okay. Um, basically, cop dialogue, the cop fights in this game only occur once the cop dialogue is over. So, we try to manipulate that to, to uh, accomplish different things in the game. Uh, right there, we didn't really do anything with it because we have enough time by default to do what we want to do. But later on, such as in chapter 4, we're going to be delaying uh, cop dialogue in order to give us more time to do stuff before cop fights start. So in this case, I uh, sprayed a graffiti and then escaped the trigger zone to grab the mystery tape and spray some more graffiti. And now that I'm ready, I can enter the trigger zone and start the fight. You're going to be seeing a lot of that. Are they bringing tanks to fight you? Uh, yep. Wow. These cops don't fuck around. Yeah, no, we're only in chapter two. I thought this was like Neo Tokyo, not America. <laughs> well, you are referring to fascist government, so there's some similarities there, I guess. <laughs> Boom, follow me on uh, Twitch. Uh, Twitch on TV, <laughs> follow on Twitch for hot takes. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing here, which you've probably seen me do a few times on now, is something called shuffling. Uh, what shuffling is, it basically looks like I'm... This is shuffling. It basically looks like I'm like grinding on the ground. Uh, the, the purpose for shuffling is it allows us to have our speed decrease very, very slowly instead of decrease normally, which is usually very fast. <clears throat> so... We apply this at the ends of boosts and grinds, or basically any form of movement that is faster than normal. And basically it allows us to spend more time at that higher speed because it's decreasing a lot slower than normal. So that's a very small movement thing, but because we use it literally everywhere in the run, it saves uh, minutes and minutes and minutes. <laughs> I love how you just go up to this guy and just like shove him yeah, down. No, he, he, no, he's on there. And he's like the big dude who's been like all up in your face this entire time. <laughs> he's the big dude right now. 
Gotcha. Alright, so that was their combo. Luckily it spawns right there, so we can conveniently pick it up. Perfect. Uh, so we're gonna do some graffiti, and then we're going to unlock the rest of the souls in a few seconds. <clears throat> Here, we unlock the coin soul, hopefully. Nope. I did not blow right long enough. Let's try that again. Hey you! There we go, that's coin soul. So that was a, a hidden rail onto a wall ride with a 16 times multiplier, so that gets us a lot of points. So that was grand combo. Yeah, I can't figure out how to turn off my stream alerts because I don't know how I'm catching them. <laughs> so, I tried. I'm sorry. We will never forget you. <laughs> so, no one follow me until this is over. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, sh stop giving me your love and appreciation, <laughs> assholes. <laughs> so, a fun fact that Hey You soundbite is this character found but in the original uh, Jesse video. Ooh. There's a slightly now, different voice in this game, but uh, it's basically the same. What is, what is the story between the two? So is it a sequel? Like a direct sequel? Uh, this game is a remake. Um, basically, the stories are not um, connected really in any way. They, they basically tell the same story, just with different methods. Uh, yeah. So yeah, for all intents and purposes, it's a remake. Someone in chat said it was an alternate universe, alternate timeline. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's just that's just remake. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing now may look a little odd, considering I'm, I just went here and now I'm backtracking all the way to the beginning. Uh, the special challenge for this level, like in the last level, is very peculiar. Uh, well. Okay, there we go. In that it has a lot of trouble registering, so our theory is that we go so fast that the level doesn't really have time to load, which is why the challenge sometimes doesn't register. So we slow ourselves down by back by going down halfway and then backtracking and also slowing down at certain points like here, and that makes the soul register like that. It works 99% of the time, but uh, sometimes it doesn't when you lose uh, two minutes, which is fun. Now, for these souls, does it have like a list telling you what each of them are? Uh, Which you can't read because it's in Japanese. Yeah, but... oh, I have them memorized. <laughs> yeah, you have them memorized. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. yeah so but... we, if we open up Pause and look at this as our journal, uh, everything was grayed out already because I already unlocked everything. Uh, but uh, usually, if you can read Japanese, it says how many challenges you have, uh, how many points you need, etc., etc. For every level, as long as you get the mystery tape. If you don't have the mystery tape, then you're not going to see it. Looks like those little beast dudes have arrived. Please don't feed the animals. Um, okay, so we're coming up to our first uh, big, big-ish skip of the game. Um, you saw that poison jam had just spawned once I finished uh, the graffiti. Um, the game wants us to race them because beating them in a race will will spawn them in the next level. And the reason why you would want them in the next level is to knock down the gate to the train station, which blocks off <clears throat> most of the level. However, there is a <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, hiccups. However, there is a um, clip we do to go out of bounds that completely bypasses that train station, so we don't need them to knock down the door at all, which means we don't have to race them at all. So that saves like two three minutes. So that's the first big skip. And I'll point it out when I this get This is Rokaku Dai Heights, an abandoned hill at times. How many uh, skips are there like that in this game? Um, like that, probably. Like the ones that are actually in this run, probably maybe like three or four off the top of my head. But, uh, wow, so is nice it not there. like a glitch heavy run? Um, not really. The thing about this game is that it's full of glitches, but none of them seem to be useful. <laughs> oh my gosh, are there, is it uh, more in any percent than in this soul's percent? Um, definitely more noticeable because there are, for instance, in the next chapter there is a skip to skip an entire level. Uh, we sort of do it, 
to save time in like cutscenes, but we go through that skip level anyway because there are still souls we need to collect. Uh, gotcha. But in 80% we don't have that uh, restriction, so uh, we can just go through it and it's much more useful. Alright, here's a skip. It's called Rip Skip. Uh, rip because a lot of runs died here because people found it hard uh, at some point in time. Uh, but it's really pretty simple. You just go through that wall and then jump here. Go to here, which is another part of the level technically, and then you death warp, and that respawns us uh, past the train station. It's easy, you just go through a wall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no big deal. You don't need to hard, you just press the button at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why people are complaining. All, all I'm doing is pressing buttons, and I'm doing great. Alright, so this is an armor cop. Uh, you can't damage him unless you do something to him uh, to destroy his shield or whatever. So. There was just one, but we're gonna be seeing a lot more later. Next generation cop technology. Yeah. Wearing armor. <laughs> Paint resistant armor. Yeah. I like how they uh, sent tanks after you before they sent the guys in armor. <laughs> That's always a good part about this game. Okay, so hopefully I don't fall here, because if I fall I have to climb all the way back up, which sucks. So, this is a bit tricky to return from. In the old route, we just death warp from here, but now we actually have to go back, like, manually. There we go. That's okay. Then we're gonna come to another, uh, big skip. Called uh, Pop Skip, uh, pretty accurately. Uh, it's gonna skip the biggest and the naggiest cop fight in the game. Uh, basically, the trigger for this fight extends and wraps around a certain graffiti tag. They obviously meant for you. Oh my god, I just fell. Alright, well, I guess I have more time to explain this now. Um, they obviously meant for you to um, not be able to spray that tag without doing that cop fight, but if you have some pretty precise movement, you can sort of spray the tag with, like, just at the boundaries of the tag's hitbox. So, uh, I'm gonna get this a later. So, um, like, they tried to make it impossible, but it's actually possible, and it's not super hard, so. Uh, as soon as I get back there. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we're back here. We want to jump here to get around the trigger. Now we're on the back side. And this is the tag. So sort of get close, spray those two, go around, spray that one, and then we're done. Hot plate skip. Nice. How long does the cop fight like actually take? Because you've been killing the cops pretty quickly. That is, um, I, I feel a... upset. That I have to say that. <laughs> That's the thing, like, the cop fights so far, there's been, like, maybe, like, 10 cops. That cop fight has around, like, I think 30 cops. Wow. Maybe even more. Uh, and it's a lot of armored cops, and it's very, very, very laggy. So, <laughs> uh, you lose a lot of time right to you. Is lag reduction, like, a huge strat in this? Uh, not really, because we can skip most of the laggy parts, like, that cop fight. That's good. So, okay, so that's the end of the graffiti challenge. Uh, an interesting thing about uh, graffiti challenges in this game is that when you complete a main, uh, the main mission of a, of a given level, which in this level's case was the graffiti challenge, um, once you beat that, it despawns all the top fights whether you've done them or not. So. Because we've done the main mission in this level, uh, we uh, don't have to worry about doing that cop skip again that I was talking about. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. There's actually a third cop fight that I didn't talk about at all that I completely skipped, uh, whose trigger zone was right by that, that last graffiti, so uh, we don't have to worry about that at all because the graffiti challenge is done. Alright, so that should be everything. That's everything. Oops, forgot about that cutscene. This is a new route, it's not in my muscle memory yet. Uh, Alright, so now we start collecting. This is the first one. You got a great soul. 
<clears throat> now we climb back up. This is actually one of the exceptions I was talking about earlier, where it's actually faster to do the level in two trips, once for graffiti and once for souls. Uh, we used to do everything in one trip, but uh, long, long story short, it was just a little bit too slow, so we do it in two trips now. Gotcha. And when, when you're riding on, like, literally jet-powered roller skates, too slow is just not good. Yeah, exactly. No, we gotta go fast. Out of all these, like, big old jumps that you're making, that you're clearly not supposed to be able to do. <laughs> yeah, there's like, some uh, clever use of game mechanics here. I you got a great no, I fell for it. That's fine. Um... I'm supposed to do a backwards quick turn, but I missed my one quick. I guess I should mention, there, like I said before, there are quick turns in this game. Uh, there's actually two different types. Um, there's the normal quick turn where you're skating forwards, and then there's like a backwards quick turn where you're skating backwards. Uh, you've probably seen me skate, uh, yeah, okay. You've probably seen me skate backwards um, at some points during this run, and you're like, why is it doing that? If you skate backwards while you do a quick turn, uh, you'll turn at a much more dramatic angle. And it's very useful for doing like complete one UBs. Like here I'm about to like, turn around very quickly like that. So that's a, what a backwards quick turn does. So my rule of thumb is if I want to just adjust my direction very slightly, I do like a forward facing quick turn. But if I want to just turn around really fast, I do, I do a, a backwards quick turn. So that's my thinking with that. This is 99th Street, the city's hottest okay, nightlife so this city. Okay, so this is 99th Street. Um, it's just one bloody showdown after right at the beginning, we're gonna get the tape, and then there's gonna be some soul locking, and then at the end of that, there's gonna be a pretty difficult strat I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to unlock two souls and do a clip at the same time, because I gotta go fast. Um, I, I cannot wait for you to grind that dragon. Like, that's <laughs> great. You do, right? Um, sort of. Oh. <laughs> we do, uh, hey, hey, well, we do it quickly. I'll take it. Like so. Yeah. Okay, we Hey, chat, behave yourself. Uh, <laughs> the <special> challenge? <laughs> wow, what are they doing? I, I, I said grind the dragon, and they are not behaving themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the special challenge for this level is to just grind around this plaza, like in a circle. So, that's what I'm doing. And at the same time, we're going to be unlocking the trips challenge, too. Because why not? There it is. Then we're going to do a uh, grind combo, and then we're going to do that thing I talked about before. Hey, grinding oh, no, that oh. dragon. Oh, let me get back up there. Hold on. Um, you get to grind it twice. Alright. One, two, three. Cool, got it. Nice. Excellent. So that we just went through like five walls and now we're on the top thing. As you do. Yeah, exactly. So this particular cop fight we just bring some searchlights. Uh, uh, are also guns. So if we just grind up the poles and spray them, then they don't work no more. Just grind up those poles and spray them. Yep. 
This is a three rated game, I think. I was about to ask, <laughs> what's this rated? Cause I'm about to make it rated M, baby. You got go big, so. I like the style. Yeah, no. uh, probably one of the best uh, cell shaped games. It looks great after all these years. Was it only on Xbox or was it released yeah. elsewhere? It was an exclusive, I'm pretty sure it was launch title too. Although I could be wrong about that. Like an interesting choice. Yeah. Yeah, Sega did a lot of uh, exclusives for uh, Microsoft. Beginning, like they did like, uh, like Panzer Dragoon, they did Jet Set Radio, they did. Uh, uh, what else did they do? I'm pretty sure for this marathon, you're the person playing the most. No, I know we have Yakuza. Never mind. Oh, Yakuza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, this is like probably the most modern game there is. <laughs> but no, I was wrong. Actually, am I might be able to say this if I'm high enough. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, we need to go back and get that soul. Um, we're gonna get Are the soul. Are you running on the fly here? Uh, I missed the jump. I have some backup stuff. I need to get that soul on the roof. So we need to go here and then turn around and sort of like curve around this billboard because this billboard was not meant to be billboarded from this direction. <laughs> So, I need to like, do a, a cheeky little curve. Alright, now the deck graffiti is done. We're gonna do something called a uh, dark side skip. Um, like I mentioned before, cop fights can only start when cop dialogue ends. So this, we're gonna start this cop dialogue by resetting the level and we're gonna interrupt it with a cutscene, like this. And because the cop dialogue was interrupted with a cutscene, the dialogue, uh, I guess, never finishes, and that means that the cop fight never starts, even if you go inside the trigger zone. So that means there's a, there's another cop fight uh, in this level. Oh my god, I keep falling off the dragon. There's another cop fight in this level, but we're never going to see it because I just did that. So that stopped all cop fights? Uh, in this level. Cool. Yeah. Um, is there any other kind of side effects for having to restart the level? Um, if you, like, re-enter the level after doing that, then uh, it's probably not gonna work, because the cop dialogue is just gonna start again. And I don't think there's a way to call back that cutscene, I think it's, uh, I think it's a one-off. So as long as we don't reload the level, we're fine. So, how difficult would you say learning this game is? Uh, learning, not at all difficult. I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can pick it up. It's and just run learning, pretty like easily. the pathing. Yeah, basically, it's like learning the route, learning kind of how the game works, and just knowing where to go. Um, Any percent's not that long. It's like a couple hours of learning stuff. I say, I say it's not that long, but it's a couple hours. <laughs> Wait, what's world record for any percent? Uh, world record for any percent right now is a one, a mid one forty four, I believe, by uh, Yaya de la Riva. That is not. Well, I, guess I expected that to be to get in both like clean. further away from uh, all souls. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, yeah, souls has gotten. It, souls used to be like a like a plus like over two and forty five minute, two hours forty five minutes category. Uh, crap cam. There you go. Um, but we. have for I, I'm, I'm the only person who has this. I've gotten it down oh. to <laughs> like a 226. Don't mean to toot my own horn, yeah. but damn, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. It wasn't super complicated because any percent has developed a lot more, and any percent is always like active. 
this carry yeah. was dead for a while, so it was using like three, like a year old strats. That I no feel like that's always know. how 100 uh, percent and all that work. So uh, this is a cop fight against the rival gang. Um, I forgot to do this whole check. Um, basically, we don't have to collect all the flags. We we have to just have more than anyone else. So we let them, the AI, get the faraway flags while we uh, hoard the ones near the middle that are close together. So because we manipulated the AI, they're gonna hit the one at the bottom like that, and now I'm already at the top. To get the last one. You can toot your own horn. They're all complimenting how amazing you are at this game and chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm also in chat, so if you have any questions, just uh, at me oh, yes. until, I, until I see it. I we're, we're going to run out of stuff to say, so please, <laughs> if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. I can also just read them off. The sewers are as tricky and twisted as my ex girlfriend. <clears throat> so, uh, coming up is chapter three, which is has both uh, sewer uh, levels. You don't know what the master is. Uh, because no hurry, according to the story, as you're probably hearing, this is the poison jam layer. So we're off to settle the well, what deal heard, or whatever. Once for all. Got a boss, and anyone who could organize those fellas has got to be one. That's where we're going. Um, loves this sure. first sewer level has a, probably the most famous skip in this game called Sewer Skip. Um, we'll be doing it in this category, however, like I said before, it's not going to be very noticeable because we have to go through the level anyway to get souls. But uh, rest assured, I am technically skipping the entire level. I'm just Ooh. doing it anyway. But in any percent, you literally uh, just do the skip and then take a hard left and go on to the next level, and then you have, never have to go there again. Now remember, the sewers of Poison Jam's home took. And I get Dogen Super, and now I did not. I got like a 125 beat race, so I probably should have reset, but I didn't. Beat race? That was the race I did in the very first level. It was against a character named Beat. And like I was talking about like stuff, so I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, yeah. Well, we were introducing the game. So yeah, I'm waiting around here because this is scripted. So I'm just waiting. Oh wait, you were waiting because why? I'm waiting for a cutscene to start. Uh, the oh, like me getting stuck in this ditch is scripted, so. I guess I technically need this guy's help to escape, even though I could get out perfectly fine, but there's an invisible ceiling that just spawned when you fell in, so... Uh, so yeah, he's just telling me to do a few jumps and do a few hand plants. And he's actually going to teach us a technique that will actually be useful in this run uh, for one soul. And that's uh, a hand plant jump, which you'll be seeing uh, soon. That's two, and that's three. And let me kill some time. Now we get ready. That's a hand plant jump. And now this is the actual sewer skip. It's a grind and a boost, and then a turn. And that's basically it, you're skipping the trigger. Hopefully I get it. Yeah, I got it. Cool. Nice. Now we get the tape, which is right here, and we can start doing this level. So this level is pretty tedious, uh, because half pipes in this game are kind of garbage. So, but they, you have to deal with it to like get souls that are in certain positions and stuff. Let's see if I can get the god transfer. Nope, former shot. People are asking for uh, version differences. Do you have time to talk about them, or is it like uh, just something coming up? Um. So, like I. 
said, uh, the, the difference between NTSC versions, uh, namely like Amer uh, North American and Japanese, are it's just really just uh, wow, like, I'm really fucking this up, aren't I? Well, don't look at me. You could say, "Well, I'm doing amazing." Okay. It's okay. It, <laughs> the stratus, the stratus to fall five times and uh, <laughs> and get salty, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So, but but the main difference is with PAL versions. PAL versions have some glitches that are patched, uh, namely sewer skip. Uh, if you have a PAL version, you are not going to be able to do sewer skip without an NTSC cache. I uh, hope I get this. No, nope. too short. So that was a hand plant jump that I unfortunately screwed up. I'm gonna try it one more time. If not, then uh, I'm just gonna move on. Is it so? If you can't figure it out, and I mean, if you can't do it, is it like something you'll have to route in later, or is um, it? I would have to go up to that level uh, normally, and then I have to boost to the uh, processor to get that soul, and then boost back onto the level. So. It's definitely slower, and I'm getting a lot of cans, but it's still doable. Gotcha. It's just that uh, keeping your direction when you're going down a half pipe is not super easy in this game. Yeah, yeah, it really looks like. Yeah, no, I'm not even close. All right, so I'm not gonna do that again. Hey, look, I just unlocked our combo. Totally on purpose. <laughs> so yeah, that's one thing that is that I guess. So I guess I'll show you, I'll show you the slow way. Uh, really annoying thing is that if you fail that, you have to go through these half pipes all over again. That's the god transfer. So yeah, that's really annoying. So yeah, I was supposed to get a lot of speed from a hand plant and then jump on top of this processor I'm grinding on right now uh, and then land and get the soul and then boost the next level but uh, I am bad at this game so I can't do that so I'm going to go to the long one. Yeah, you're really bad at this game. Where's the world record holder? <laughs> yeah, why don't you get him? Let's get, let's get him in here. <laughs> uh, why we gotta deal with this guy? <laughs> Alright, so this is the soul I'm supposed to get. There we go. Uh, and now we boost jump over here. Luckily this wall is wall edible. Alright, now we do ground combo. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We continue into this room. And get the soul we just unlocked. Someone's like reminder that you already have air combat. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I'll do, I'll forget and then I'll do it in the proper place and then I'll panic, but then I'll remember. So that's okay. <laughs> as long as I have it. Forgetting a soul is much worse than uh, doing it twice. You shouldn't you shouldn't have reminded him because then he'll he would have panicked and <laughs> <didn't>. <laughs> my panic I hit the reset button. Oh no. It's okay. Uh, we, we, we already planned a reset in here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, during this whole uh, section, I unlock the trick soul. I feel like there's a way to skip this and, and still unlock the trick soul, but I don't know. I'm kind of burnt out in this category, so I'll save it for later. Yeah, I'm not. So that was where Air Combo was supposed to be. I don't know that. So I'm going to go back here to get enough speed to make this jump. And then I'm going to grind on this bonus rail and get the point soul. Uh, the special challenge in this in the sewers levels are also tr uh, point souls. So the sewers level the sewer levels have two point souls each. So they're very easy to just get on one combo. Alright, and then we fall down here. And um, now that I'm going in here, if you've played this game casually, you probably know which soul I'm going for now. 
It's probably the most infamous soul in the game, and it's the least fun part of the game, probably. So this um, shaft, I guess you can call it, is 100 feet tall, and the soul is at the very top, and the only way up there is what you're seeing me do right now. And we do this for 100 feet. So the game developers felt the need to put these platforms and metal grates that you can't wall ride on. So you're gonna have to like avoid them or cut your wall ride before you get to them or you're gonna fall like 40 feet. And you're gonna have to make all that problem. So. Like now how often here. do you fall when you do this? Uh, literally everyone. <laughs> I've rarely gotten the perfect. No, That's no, the... No, just... Okay, well, I just walked off at one point, so I'm gonna retry that. Right. That's the second platform. I'm at 60 feet. Do it, I believe it. Okay. 80 feet. This is a really freaking tall sewer. I agree! <laughs> like... Who the hell builds a hundred meter tall sewers? That's, the hell that's is going form. in there? Let's see if I can form it good. There we go. And he looked at the soul. Good job. And now we celebrate by falling to our death. You didn't fall. Well, I mean, you fell now. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, oh my god, that's horrifying. Nah, she's okay, folks. Jesus Christ. She's wearing knee pads. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like it! <laughs> Alright, so that's the second last soul, so there's one more in uh, this room here. <laughs> Mostly Saki goes in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got a we need the fort to get out of here quickly, and that's the last soul. Alright. Right, fall down, and the next level is right here. Of this level, no Mr. Tape is right here, which is very We can start unlocking stuff either way. An interesting thing that comes into effect in this level uh, concerns uh, trick combos and half pipes. Now usually when you land on the ground after a combo, if you land on the ground, your points and trick counter will reset. However, if you land in a half pipe like I just did, um, your points will reset, but your tricks will not reset. So we're going to use this to our advantage to um, keep our trick counter going, even though we're like landing on solid ground. So in the old route, I would have to slow down on this red pipe and uh, just farm tricks for like a minute. But now that I've, <laughs> now, that, now that someone pointed out to me that half pipes keep your trick going, well, yeah, it's much easier now. All right. So the only soul left is air combo, which I do here. There's a faster way of doing it, but it's really sketchy. Wow, I missed. Dummy, you want to do tricks first? You're like literally grinding her head up against the bottom of that concrete. Well, I don't no, think I'd want to do tricks either. Yeah, well, I wouldn't do it if she did tricks. Okay, there we go. Be careful here, because there's a weird bump in that platform that always tricks me up. Alright, so the reason I'm turning around and backtracking is that there's a certain room in this level where if you enter it, you get forced into a boss fight and once you beat that boss fight, you get warped out back to the garage. We don't want to do that because there's still a lot of souls we need to get. So we go in one direction up to that room, get the souls. Wow, nice, uh, nice quick turn. We get the souls in that direction and then we turn around and we do all the souls in the other direction, eventually meeting back up into that room. So that's what we're going to do. As soon as I go back to where I fell and get this soul, I hate that pipe so much. I hate him so much. There we go.
doesn't seem like it loses that much time. You make up good ground. <laughs> yeah. I That's guess because you're like... wearing roller blades. <laughs> yeah. You got a great song. So we got that one. We do Put this jump right here. Get this. You got a great song. Now we're back at the entrance, and we go the other way. Wait, we're already at 129? What? Uh, no, that's like the, how they're listed like in the graffiti menu, but that's not... Uh, uh... Okay, that's not like how many we've got. Yeah, no. I was about to say, there's absolutely no way we could have got <laughs> that many already. Uh, we have 65 right now, minus the 20 we started with, so we've collected 45 so far out of 105. You got should be number 8, it is. So. Now we enter the room and do the boss room. Wow, this is a very dark location. Why is this in the sewers? Uh, well, you know, I, I don't have an answer for oh. that. I mean, oh, Poison Jam is supposed to be like, like monster movie, like fish monster people. Like that's their whole gimmick, so it makes sense for them to be in the sewers, I guess. All right, so for this fight, uh, each Poison Jam takes a full 30 cans to kill. Uh, and I entered this can this fight with actually not enough cans, I just realized, so I don't think we're gonna get this fast shot. Uh, actually, I might get it. Should land right in front of me, I think so. Okay, so yeah, that one was the problem with Poison Jam. Uh, the what the fuck is this Go back the other way, thank you. Sometimes their AI can get really messed up. It looks like I got the absolute worst AI, and that's complete RNG. So, the absolute worst AI means he's going to grind, like, on these rails indefinitely. Uh, let me just check that he's not doing that. Okay, it doesn't look like he is, so I'm gonna fall down. Hopefully he's there to meet me. Hmm, he's not here. I have to check the map. Uh oh. <laughs> that's not good. Uh, so yeah, that's just RNG. There he is. Oh, shit. Fighting. For a big, doofy fish person, you're really good at hiding. <laughs> so yeah, I need to uh, just like follow him. I'm trying to get him. Okay, I don't have enough cans anymore, so I'm gonna grab some more. Oh, these didn't respawn yet. I'll have to go to the other side. This poison gem fight is absolute trash. Okay, that should be enough. What the fuck is he? He keeps, like, going back upstairs. This asshole. This fucking stand <laughs> Like, what are they even... Like, what is their goal? Alright. Um, their goal... I don't know. They, the, in, according to the story, they stole a chapter... Uh, they stole a, a statue from a level in the first chapter. And that level was, like, your gang's territory. So, like, you're getting back at them for... Your ears won't even know what hit them. Jet set radio! Also, who is this dude? Like, this dude? he's amazing, but... Yeah, DJ is he, like, Professor your leader? He's, like... The narrator, he's in the universe, he's the one playing all the awesome music that you're hearing uh, during gameplay. Like, that's the radio station, Jesset Radio, he runs that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's him. Uh, he gets more involved in the story uh, later on. Don't you? In other news today, 
The new team, the noise tank. So yeah, one of our members uh, just got kidnapped, so that this launches basically the second act of the story, where we have to find out what happened to him. And then this is also introducing a bunch of new games that we're going to be And the Immortals, who used to control the skyscraper district, just got their butts handed to them by the noise Every gang seems to have some really crazy theme, like yeah. fish people, and then what the hell is that? Like, atomic So those were robots. Holes. Uh, <laughs> and then these are mummies from Egypt. Oh my god. those immortals a little, and they might help you unravel this What kind of sad life do you have to lead that you decide to join the mummy gang? Let's go! And flop around. This is a, uh, he answered that earlier. This is kind of like a remake game, John. It's like... <clears throat> Same characters, different ish universe. Uh, yeah. Basically. It's the same, rough, it's roughly the same story, just told differently. With better mechanics and stuff. Okay, so we're entering chapter 4. Uh, the hardest chapter in the just game the because day, every level is just has a lot of difficult stuff. So I'm not going to be talking too much. Uh, but Let's one thing I want to point out is at the beginning of this level, I'm going to reload the level to delay uh, cop dialogue again, and uh, it's just it's just faster. <laughs> Hold on, okay, I'm going to do this now. This. So we need to get the cape, and also um, do some graffiti, all before the cop dialogue ends. I kind of screwed up my boost, so I don't think I'm going to make it, but we'll see what I can do. Uh, no, I missed the air uh, combo. Okay. I still got the graffiti though, so it's really good. So in this level, cans are extremely scarce, uh, so we're going to be depending on cops to give us cans. Um, the important thing is that you do not want to end. You don't. You don't want to kill the last cop before you're like before you have cans because when the last cop dies, um, the cop fight will end, and when the cop fight ends, all the cans that are on the ground here will despawn, and then you won't be able to pick them up. So we need to make sure we have lots of cans before the cup hit ends. Alright, so now we're going to do a grind combo and tricks along this very long rail here. Burr in chat asks to please explain spray buffering. Okay, so spray buffering, I'm assuming he means because I don't no, no runners of this game ever use the same time. <laughs> I assume that means uh, spraying an em oh, God, I just fell. Uh, spraying an empty can um, before you, right before you tackle some cops. Oh, fucking God, these controls. And what that does theoretically is it makes your hitbox bigger so that you can tackle more uh, more cops. So yeah, that's basically what that does. So if you see me. Go to tackle some cops and I spray a can for no reason. That's what I'm doing. Okay, let's go all the way back up here. And then it's not fall this time. So. Right. Okay, this. Okay, that. And grab that soul. And then we do the air combo that we screwed up before. One, two, three. Four. There we go. So the reason that's difficult is because I was trying to do an air combo while spraying the PB, and that like introduces lag and it changes the camera and it just generally screws up a lot of stuff. So it's kind of hard to time tricks, but uh, it's really not that bad because you get another opportunity to do it. <clears throat> So what makes this the hardest level? Um, this is a hard level, it's not the hardest, it's just in the hardest chapter. Oh. Uh, the level oh. after this is the hardest level, because it has a very difficult glitch, and uh, or not really glitch, it has a very difficult skip, and um, just, just like generally difficult. Uh, See, that right there, the cop fight 
ended in front of my death. The cop fight ended instantaneously, giving me no opportunity to get canyons, so I'm gonna have to be cautious with canyons on the point. So right here, I'm going to get the point soul. The goal is 300,000, and I need to manage my speed by slowing down, or else I'm not gonna have enough time to get that many points. But if I slow down too much, my points are gonna reset to zero. So I need to be very, very careful here. There we go. Nice. And then we quickly jump, grab this, and then we quickly jump to the no, Okay, we're not gonna jump to the right. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Let's retry that. Oh my fucking god. Luckily, if you fall down in this session of the level, it's not that bad because there's a handy little crane here to get you all the way back up. But uh, that was pretty ugly. Usually, you're supposed to do that, like, all in one motion. Yeah, if you're telling me you were ahead, scheduled ahead of schedule before this one, uh, I got some good news for you. I'm not playing very well. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. It'll be fun. <laughs> this is the special challenge for this level. We're cheesing it by doing this. Look at that. Very easy. You're supposed to, like, grind up all the rails and then all the way back down the rails in one combo, but you just have to, like, touch the ground, touch the rail, and then touch the ground again, and then that's all you have to do. It doesn't even check no. to see if- wow. There's- wait till like two levels from now, you'll see a special challenge that is just out of this world in terms of how you can break it. I can't wait. Alright, make sure we have 10 cans to boost. Let me grab this. You got a grenade, so So yeah, this level is basically a hub with three different sections with a cup fight in each section, so it's like, this level is kind of like three different mini levels. Now we're heading toward this middle section, which has uh, the big cup fight in this level against the ominously titled Terror Drone. Uh, oh. Oh my. So. The problem with this fight is that the terror drone takes up so much, I guess, memory in the game that it lags, like, really badly. So if I fall, it's gonna be very painfully slow to watch. So I need to get to the top of this section and, uh, spray that guy. I should stop doing that jump, it never works. So yeah, this is some lag. So oh if I fall, gosh. yeah, it's not fun to deal with. I'm not missing all of my jumps. Uh, whatever. I'm just going the to Xbox, this. the powerful new system from Microsoft. Oh yeah. Throw aside your PlayStations and Nintendos; those are kids' toys. <laughs> Here and start spraying. We get this annoying cutscene at 50% health. Uh, the reason why it's annoying is that you're in the middle of spraying and you would think that once the cutscene ends, you can just hold down the trigger and it will continue spraying. But actually, cutscenes uh, cancel all your inputs that you've already had, so you need to reapply the trigger like right after the cutscene ends. So you need to time for that, or else you risk falling off. <laughs> Run away, little bugs. <laughs> Go cry to your mums. Alright, so that's done. Nice. Now we're just gonna finish up some graffiti here. I missed that, that's okay, I'm going back there anyway. Movement in this game seems really fluid and fun, but like I can understand it's it's got to be obnoxious. When you fall. Oh yeah, it's definitely. Uh, I practiced a lot to get it to look the way it does. Usually, it's very funky <laughs> and haphazard and 
uh, generally random, but there's things you can do to get some more consistent. Uh, I guess something I can mention now is that every time I sprig a PD, you're gonna notice that the camera changes to a more cinematic view. Um, because the controls in this game are completely camera sensitive, uh, the, car the directions on the control stick will also change. Um, which is annoying enough, but there is a programming bug in this game where if the camera like cuts to a change like that, uh, sometimes the control stick gets reversed. And there's no indication unless you try to jump and then you jump in the wrong direction and then you lose two minutes. Uh, Has that happened in the run so that's far? one of the reasons why the next level is the hardest in the game. Because uh, I need to deal with that. So yeah, the way to fix that is to, like, right after you change camera angle, um, like, release the control stick for a second and then reapply, and then it usually fixes itself. But, you know, when you're trying to do something difficult, it's not uh, at the forefront of your mind, I guess. I guess I should explain how they skip. Uh, this next level has a skip called a helicopter skip in which we skip some helicopters. Uh, helicopters are gonna spawn and they're strewn throughout the level and they're very annoying and they take several minutes to complete. Uh, but luckily there's a way to skip all that if we delay the cop dialogue long enough to escape the trigger zone. Unfortunately there's graffiti in the trigger zone so we're going to be resetting dialogue in three cycles which means we're going to be reloading the level basically three times to get all the graffiti and to escape the trigger zone. In the Japanese version you have about like two seconds of error for like a three minute trick so hopefully I get it. I'm not expecting to get it at all. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to be you get this. this. Do you want me to be quiet too, or do you want me to? No, no, no. Okay. Um, I don't know what the fuck Hi, chat. <laughs> Isn't this great? Let's all give him some love and chat, huh? I've actually seen this. He was practicing it right before we got on. That was cycle one, you can replenish cans in your cycle two. This is the make or, make or break cycle. You got this. I got the cutscene, I missed it. Yeah, not even close. Alright, so... Oh well. I was not expecting to get that, so... Um, so there's two helicopters that's gonna, that are gonna spawn at the entrance of the level, and then two at the end of the level. Um, I'm just gonna death warp backwards until I get back to the entrance and take care of the helicopter. But on the bright side, you get to see a clip that... Uh... Oops, no, I don't want to go this way. Let me go this way. I'm gonna see a pretty cool, a preview of a pretty cool clip. <laughs> so these are helicopters. Uh, there's so much trouble, but they only take two cannons to kill. So. <laughs> wow, those are some weak ass helicopters. Yeah. 
Actually, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do the clip because since I'm already going in this direction, it's not safe to keep going. I think to set up the clip. So, but don't worry, you'll be seeing it uh, later on in the run when we start unlocking souls. So, what went wrong was in the middle of that final bit of movement, I was supposed to boost and then jump and then run while boosting on top of a roof for like half a second and then fall off of that roof and then at the end of the boost uh, shuffle to maintain my speed. Unfortunately I boost jumped for the roof too early and I got caught on the roof and that like made me lose like a second and that's enough to lose the trick badly. In the English version you have around I don't know, 50, like 10 more seconds of time before the dialogue ends, but in Japanese uh, you don't really have that time. Right. Um, what should I do now? I'm going to just keep going. I'm going to do this clip. I'm going to get the soul later, just to conform to the route. I'm going to do this clip to get back to spawn uh, very quickly. Now we're back here. Now, I'm going to see if I can get the movement again, uh, just to show you what it looks like. The thing is, it's a lot easier without dealing with the graffiti camera, because like I said, graffiti camera reverses uh, directions sometimes, and it makes things much harder for no reason. So yeah, that's what that was supposed to look like. So, Ayashi would be talking right now, and then now it's the last cop, and by the time I get here, if the, dialogue, if the cop dialogue hasn't ended, then that means I skipped the fight. So that's what that's supposed to look like. So Burr brings up an interesting point that I don't think I mentioned before. Um, the reason cop fights are so bad is because cop fights lock you out from doing graffiti and unlocking and collecting souls. Um, so if so, that's the thing. That's why I that waste so much time is because I have to deal with the helicopters and I'm not allowed to spray any graffiti during. <clears throat> so. That's why it's very costly to miss that script. Then I have to like do an, a complete extra lap around the level. Alright, so... <laughs> we're back here now. Hey, g give us any content you can to talk about. <laughs> it's all good. I don't want to run, like, you know, we don't have to fill up the entire time talking. Yeah, yeah. We do have to make it look like we're not just going to sit here for the next hour. That's the thing, there's just a lot of tiny stuff to explain. Just so people, like, know what the hell's going on. Because this is, like, not 80%, so it's a little more complicated. Just a little bit. Yeah. So you saw we just got the tape. Um, so now we can finally start on the Souls. Which we, haven't, which we haven't even gotten to yet. First, we're gonna finish up this graffiti challenge. There we go. So this is one of the more, but one of the most difficult soul unlocking sequences in the game because you need to manage speed, and use the tricky jumps and stuff, and it's generally difficult. So this is a bonus rail to get points. Again, I'm managing my speed. You can look at the speedometer uh, bottom right corner of the screen. I'm not going full speed. I'm. Uh, I'm slowing down manually so that I have enough room to do this. Goal is 250, so we're gonna hit that right there. Now we need to do a jump to the other direction. Then we jump again, slow down, jump again. And then we need to transfer to the top wire like that. Nice. That's not a lot of room to do that, so I'm glad I got that. That was Trixel. Nice. We, yeah, we were working on Trixel the whole time during that. That's air combo, and this is special challenge. The special challenge in this level is to just go through that weird gate. That's literally all you have to do. Wow, 
I didn't even break it. It's just what you have to do. You know, it was actually kind of tricky when I was a kid because even in English, the name of the gate was in uh, Japanese characters, and I obviously oh. didn't read Japanese, so I was like, what the fuck is that? Where the fuck is it? I don't know. It's the only one I haven't done yet. Yeah. Alright, so now we're back here. And we need to get on top of the power lines again to get back up to the top level for more souls, so... I'm avoiding the middle of this area because going into the middle of this area uh, starts a cutscene for an unlockable character. Uh, unfortunately, an unlockable character is not a soul, so we don't care. <laughs> so now we need to go back up to the top level again. Like that. The thing that's tricky about getting to the top level is that uh, despite what, despite how they may appear, the power lines there are not parallel, and if you jump at the wrong spot, you're not going to have enough height to transfer. So you need to learn where the spots are, so that you don't just like hit the rail and not find it. People are asking, oh, going through that wall. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going through this wall. That This that, is the clip that, I was talking about. Yeah, that really, just suddenly, I was like, oh. I've seen this before too, I think, and think that's all you do. You are low on health, is that like over uh, I am quite low on health, so I'm gonna grab some. <laughs> Just to be safe. Usually I wouldn't, but uh, I don't want to be too far behind. Yeah. I, mean, I know it's from garbage, but like, not that garbage. What, ha what happens if you uh, if you die? Like, how far back do you die? Um, well, I didn't save, so... The entire game? The entire game, my friend. Back to the title screen. So if you die, uh, your run dies. So that makes it very exciting. Yeah, you should, it's a good idea to grab that <laughs> <laughs> so Yeah, now we're gonna start going backwards. Right here. People in the chat are asking about your mods. Yes, I'm running this game on soft mode Xbox. Um, among other reasons, one of the benefits of that is having a custom graffiti. So the graffiti you're seeing me spray is not stock uh, in-game custom graffiti. They are images that I've inserted myself because, uh, you know, it'd be cool. <laughs> Alodra is wondering why specifically you chose these ones. Just because you like them? Uh, they're my waifus. You know, you gotta. Aww. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, gotta you represent. gotta represent your waifus, yeah, I understand. Okay. See if you can, uh, pick them out. See if you know my top five. Mine would just be goblins, over <laughs> and over and over again. Alright, now we go backwards more. Okay, so that's the last soul, which means we can exit this, uh, godforsaken level and never look back. Not as impressed anymore. Yeah, no, uh, I've made some stuff in a graffiti editor, but uh, not that stuff. Your um, waifus are not nearly as impressive. <laughs> yeah. I'm expecting to get some hate. <laughs> so, um, you. No love for the uh, for the hit unlockable characters, but obviously that would be a thing in 100%, right? Yeah. Which you That's... said you're the only person who runs this category. Uh, this particular category, yes. Does no one run 100%? Uh, not seriously. It's an absolute meme. Uh, people do it <laughs> to be dramatic, I guess. That's always the impression I got when people did 100%. <laughs> I, I, I've only done it once, just so I could have a time on the leaderboards. Uh, and I'm, I'm planning on never doing it again, because I that, literally wanted to die. Uh, I, 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 think it, I think that's... Uh, I think that's something that you gotta do once if you run a game like this, you know? Yeah, you gotta, it's you like, gotta do it. It's like um, Breath of the Wild, 100%. Like, everyone kind of <laughs> has that dream where they're going to be like, Alright, I'm gonna take 40 hours out of my life just fucking fuck my day up 
This right here is a skyscraper. Yeah, like Shantak is saying, uh, the reason why Hundo, why Hundo is so bad is because the last hour of the run is a challenge called Jet Tech. And you need to do a Jet Tech like, in each level to unlock all the characters so that you can get 100%. Unfortunately, Jet Tech is like 30, like a minute of getting the required amount of points for, from tricks, and then four and a half minutes of just waiting. And then you do oh, that no. 15 times. That's why Hundo is garbage. That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. Alright, so that top fight wasn't great, but whatever. So this cutscene is one of the ones that is actually longer in uh, Japanese and English, because this character likes to laugh a lot more in Japanese than in English. Um, but don't they have the same voice acting? No, they do not. This guy is like this, this guy is in Japanese in this version, but like he's completely English, and all the cops are completely English in the English version. It's just DJ Professor K that has a different. Uh, voice oh, uh, as the same voice actor. Excuse me. I I have it down so I don't hear myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, let's not So we're going on to this under carriage area to get this, uh, this is perilous. Yeah, so the thing about this level is that it's called Skyscraper District because it's all the roofs of skyscrapers. There is very little ground, so it's very easy to fall off and uh, go somewhere you don't want to. However, we're actually going to abuse that in order to travel very quickly throughout the level by abusing different uh, death warps. So you're going to see me fall off a lot of buildings. Like so. I mean, this isn't a very dramatic one, but like I fall off here and then I go back here and it's faster. So. You might be wondering what I'm doing right now. Uh, this special challenge, like I said before, is very interesting. It wants you to um, grind around the plaza, this is the plaza, grind around the plaza for a certain amount of time. Four, five, six, seven, wow I missed, okay, let's redo that. It wants you to grind around the plaza for a certain amount of time, but the game just wants you to grind, not necessarily around the plaza, but just be grinding in the general vicinity of the plaza. Um, Combo, please. All right. Sorry about that. So, so yeah, I unlocked that special challenge by just literally grinding in place for thirty seconds, and that's how you break that. Okay. That's air combo. Okay, and that's points. We actually unlocked them at the same time, so we only got one cutscene. That was really scary. Uh, usually I'm, I'm used to two unlocking cutscenes instead of just one. So, but that's okay, we still got it. If you unlock two souls with the same trick, you only get one uh, cutscene of the soul unlocking. So oh. That's what happened there. Is there like a lot of uh, places in the run where that's a, a strat that you can there actually use? There used to use? be only one consistent one in Chuo Street in Chapter 2, but we routed that out because it was faster to do another way. So as of right now, no, there's not really. Alright, so I need to actually grab the cans here. Alright, so can refill. And the camp pyramid free boost here because there's 10 cans. <laughs> I'm glad I'm watching a Jet Set Radio Future run live. I have a question about the stupid battle that you have with the immortals at the end of this level. Why does it <laughs> seem to glitch out as soon as it starts? Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll definitely be seeing that. Um, I'm curious. Yeah. I guess the only explanation I can think of is that they wanted it to be a fake battle. Um, I guess they originally planned for it to be like a real battle where you have to kill all three of them like completely, but then they realized that they want to add one more level and then they 
said, oh, whoops, we don't have any story events in this level, so we're gonna put that fight in this level instead, and then put a fake fight, like, in, in the last level, where it was supposed to be. Like, that's my only, like, explanation, is that it was a late development uh, decision for the dev team. But yeah, you're gonna see, we're, it's gonna make it out to be this super huge battle, but it's gonna end pretty abruptly. So yeah, we got this, and then we got Thwart because it's faster. Alright, and then we go up here. Really? Okay. That's fine. Boost here, extend the boost with the shuffle. That even works on satellite dishes, not a lot of people know that. Why Burr? I'm glad you asked. Hey Rix, what's a frame boost? <laughs> oh yeah, it's a frame boost. Um, so, a frame boost, I've actually gotten a couple during this round, but it's while I was talking. A frame boost is when you jump off of a rail on the same frame that you land on that rail. Um, if you do that, uh, depending on how many you chain in a row, uh, your speed is going to increase exponentially. Um, the problem is, this game runs at, I'm pretty sure, 60 frames per second, so the timing is not great, because it's frame perfect. Um, there are places where you can try for, like, safe frame boost, and if you miss it, you don't lose any time. No big deal. I'm supposed to jump there. I did that this morning. Yeah. Well, that's why you gotta, uh... That's why you gotta do those frame perfect boosts during that time when the frames were like 10 frames per second during that one giant robot boss <laughs> <Yeah>. fight. <laughs> uh, I need to go this way. I missed the death warp and I went to a place that I did not want to go to. So I'm going to uh -oh. do this and hopefully it puts me back where I belong. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. I love how you continue to do tricks to your death. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you're you're going to die. There's no you're falling <laughs> off of a high rise. <laughs> There's actually a practical application to doing tricks. If you do tricks, you lose altitude uh, less quickly. So if you want to go, if you want to go to like a really far place, you gotta do tricks to make sure you get there. If you don't do tricks, then you're gonna fall faster. Uh, yeah, Oh, yes, yeah, true. Okay. I already got those things. Um... Okay. I have a feeling I missed something, because I messed up that death word. Hey, any Ooh. questions that you want to ask in chat, we'll try to answer them. As, I mean, assuming they pertain to the run, please don't ask me where babies come from. I'm not answering that right now. So this is the quickest is... way to uh, climb this tower. There's a soul at the top of this tower. I need to get. And this is the fifth. This is the fastest way to climb. What the hell are these things? Like... Oh, it's construction. Oh, is that how construction works? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, so that was the trick soul. Uh, all right, and then we climb up here. Uh, I've heard people say there's actually the tower where DJ Professor K runs his radio show. I believe it's. Oh supposed to be in that very tower. Where do Jet Set babies come from? From the Jet Set funky store, of course. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's a fast way of getting to this uh, graffiti. Again, she's fine. It's not the first time she's done that. It's a good thing we don't get to see her face, because <laughs> whoa, it is fucked up. <laughs> Slamming head first into a fucking cement Skyscraper. I'm pretty sure skyscrapers aren't made of cement. I'm tired. <laughs> you gotta prove me, so. I'm not even the one running. You're making me tired just watching this. Like, it's so much going on. Like, yeah. it's so fast. It's I can't even long, imagine yeah. running it. It's, it's what? It's not a lot of downtime. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. It's, like, two, two and a half hours of, like, a journey. I don't know how to tell you, that's not how construction works. <laughs> Alright, so that's the graffiti challenge. 
those nasty immortals have arisen from their tombs and showed up in the skyscraper district. All right, now um, um, we get to seven. Okay, good. I didn't miss this one. I was working there for a bit. So I screwed up the death warp. I had to improvise, but we got everything. It's a real bitch to forget something in this level because everything is like a million miles away. Yeah, this is a really big level. Watch out. So this is the epic boss fight that we were talking about before. We need to spray all three of these guys. Each of them take like 65 cans. Oh wait, it's over. And now they're moving on to the next level. And, and that's the thing, this next fight in this next level is the only thing you do in that level. Uh, at least story-wise, so... I can imagine they just created that level really late in development and then just like... Bunts the a fight in there just because they could. He's so weird. <clears throat> you got That's the last soul on this level. Alright, so this is Highway Zero, uh, a level that we're first visiting right now, but since the entire visit is a scripted boss fight, um, we're not actually going to be able to collect any souls, so this is actually a level that we're going to revisit, and it's going to be the last level in the run. So this is the actual boss fight. Okay, this guy here, and we <clears throat> go here, replenish cans for a bit. And we uh, go faster than this guy by hopping. <clears throat> and that's it. Nice. Yeah, highway Zeno. Sorry, Zeno. Uh, shout out to Zeno who just got the world record in this IL. You got the what? The world record in this uh, I IL of Highway Zero. Oh, nice. Yeah. The there are different modes for IL's, and one of them is a racing mode, and he just got the world record in the Congrats. I weigh Zeno, which I'll forever be known. <laughs> so yeah, all of that um, torturous, nightmarish uh, levels was chapter 4. That's why it's the hardest thing. We get some water. We really need some water. Located just <laughs> off Manning Street. The members of the noise tanks have just jacked into the power supply of the stadium, which is being <clears> built for the Rakaku. So, welcome to Chapter 5. Oh the boy. Worst uh, level, the worst chapter in the game because oh it is an 11 minute auto scroller that we can't skip. Oh no. <laughs> so, basically, according to the story, you've been kidnapped by these noise tanks and you are forced to do. Uh, games and trials for their pleasure, I guess. I don't know, it doesn't really make sense considering they're robots. But, uh, like, in the universe, if we lose, we die. Like, so, yeah. Uh, luckily, oh it's God. really, really easy, so this chapter has no threat. So, what I'm doing right now is, this character Jazz is giving me a tutorial of the type of game we're gonna play for the next 11 minutes. Um, there's no way to skip this tutorial, and it runs out by itself after two minutes. So we're going to be waiting here for two minutes until we can finally progress with the story, so... Um, yeah, this is it. I stare at the wall to save frames, because, of course. Well, I mean, I guess it would be lag reduction if there were any lag. Yeah, and fortunately so there's not in this area, so this is a meme. <laughs> it's literally the only way I can get my name into contributing for this the speedrun of this game. So this is called the Sepricks. Stare at the wall. <laughs> I love the art in this game. Look at all the <laughs> yeah. dots. Look at that, Look at all that picture. The, all the teal. All right. A little more tur turquoise than teal, though. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I guess I can skate around and show you the level. Uh, hey, look at this uh, crazy tower here. Oh, you can't really see it from there. So this is foreshadowing, this little tower right here. Although, at this point in the game, you're not supposed to know that. 
Ooh, fancy. Spoilers. So yeah, this is actually one of the few levels in the game that does not have any souls or mystery tapes or challenges or anything, so after this chapter we don't have to come back here. Good. I don't want to see it anymore. Because really boring. It's just like a... Like, it's like an esports like stadium. It's really, really boring. Okay, this idiot is supposed to be skating around in a circle, but she was just standing still dancing. Which shows how great the AI is in this game. Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to be over. What if she oh, starts standing still again? Oh, uh, okay. Nothing. So, for, there was a dialogue choice right there. Uh, we absolutely do not want to say yes because she's asking us if we want to redo that tutorial. And we absolutely oh do not want to do that because that is a solid two minutes uh, out the window. Now, it's a very tricky, not very tricky, but it's sort of tricky dialogue because literally in every other dialogue in this, in any run of this game, you want to hold left to select the other option because it's faster. That's the only exception. If you hold left, you're one of those two minutes. Alright, so this is what we've been waiting for. It's called Death Ball. And uh, the, the object of the game is to grab the ball, and then from the point where you grab the ball, you need to do a full lap around the course. Um, there's really not much to it. We're gonna squeeze in a boost dash right here to try and save a little time. But in the grand scheme of things, it is an 11 minute auto scroller, so. Yay! Nothing yeah, to talk spam, about. Spam all rides to uh, go faster. We do grinds and shuffles anywhere we can to go faster, but sometimes we just gotta keep these corners. Well, the whole game I hear has really good music, right? Oh uh, yeah, this is one of the best soundtracks in video games. Uh, composed by Hideki Naganuma. Uh, is that okay? Hideki Naganuma? I'm pretty sure. That name is really familiar. Yeah, he did like uh, both Jets Radio games. He did Sonic Rush. He did uh, a, a track in Hover. Um, yeah, he's done a bunch of. He's freelance, but he's done a bunch of stuff recently. I believe he was the in house composer for Smilebit. Smilebit is the company that developed this game. It was an in house uh, Sega developer, like, I guess it's like a second party developer, but uh, they disbanded, or rather they got absorbed into Sega shortly after this game, I believe. All the best groups were like that. Yeah. I believe the same thing happened with Artoon into Microsoft with Blinks. That was the other game I grew up playing on the Xbox. Oh, I love Blinks! Yeah. I Are you believe, gonna run Blinks? Uh, not, like, I was thinking about it. Everyone has told me that it's an awful idea, so I haven't yet. What? What? Why is it off? Okay, I've looked into know. running it before, and I haven't really given it like a super hard time. Yeah. There's a but, like there's there's a page on speedrun if anyone wants to check it out. I haven't actually looked at the run, but <laughs> I've never actually been in that game. That last box rush is really good. I haven't either. I actually lost it. Like, I played it a bunch and then lost it before I could finish actually beating it. Yeah, no, I got to World 9 and I just, uh, I just couldn't do it. There. <laughs> you wanna know why I, why I wanted that game so badly that I made my brother buy an Xbox? It's because I had a cat on it. <laughs> <laughs> I really like cats! My favorite character as a kid was Bubsy the Bobcat because he was a cat. Oh yeah. And it was like, Bubsy's my favorite game! <laughs> no, it's fucking awful. <laughs> Sorry, Garby, if you're here, but your game is trash. Bubsy is the one that had that, like, one game that was like a really meta 3D platform and I was really bad. Is that Bubsy? Yeah. Oh, yeah yep, that's that. Bubsy 3D. It's like, hmm, what would a platform game be without platforms? I don't know why he's like curly from <laughs> Three Stooges. <laughs> Bubsy is a good game. It's just terrible. I'm pretty sure that's like the best description that you yeah, could hear about GG's it. Win. Look, I love Bubsy. I have a t-shirt of Bubsy, but his games are fucking yeah, trash. No <laughs> what a 
What a great auto scroll. <laughs> if it gives you the illusion that you're doing something, but you're really not. Versus... Oh, wouldn't you know it? The GG's yeah, the love shockers. Oh, I shout out the bird. Uh, to slow down. So the love shockers and the immortals the are the two best game characters game. to use for ILs because they have the best cornering in the game, even better than gums. Unfortunately, you can only unlock them in post game, so for speedruns, they're uh, kind of not an option. I'm, not I'm not, unless you're doing you're unless you're doing Hundo because Hundo goes oh. in post game. So which everyone. Which everyone does. Everyone does Hundo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the last uh, race. So, once we finish this... We're on to the second half of the game. Can we get some love for love? That was a good name too. Love yeah. Shockers. Yeah, they're my one of my favorite characters. They're really cool. So what are the okay, so are these the only three rival gangs? The Love Shockers, the Mummy Dudes, and then the like fish fish dudes. Mm. I like the fish dudes because they like they were big and doofy, but they also danced oh, like no. they're from Team the Skull. They're pretty great. They've been surrounded by the Rokaku police. Man. Yeah, so there's a quite a number of Rapa games uh, in this game, a few of which we only see like in these death ball races. Like we saw Doom Miners, we saw Love Shockers. We're not gonna see them again. Uh, in the um, there are three gangs that are original to the original to the first Jesse video, namely the uh, Poison Jam, Rock Shockers, and Noise Tanks. They were in the first game, and they're like they are like the big gangs that return in this game. Uh, the Immortals are completely like brand new. The Doom Miners are brand new. Um, so yeah, quite a few more gangs in this game. Yeah, they're like 40 year old dudes in like biker helmets with flames on them. Oh, so they're they are, they are roundly the most disliked uh, gang in this area. Like from fans or like in story? Uh, from fans. In story, they're not addressed at all. So <laughs> take from that what you will. So yeah, this is the return of the Terra Drone. From chapter four, a uh, very difficult boss fight. Um, we just have to spray this, and wow, it's dead. Oh no! Well, at least it doesn't have a half. Gosh, you kill everything so quickly. Yeah, that's the thing about this game is that boss fights are deceptively like quick. Cool. Those things ain't nothing but I don't know why. Like gang members take a long time to kill, depending on their stamina like their stamina stat, but like actual objects like robots and tanks and shit and helicopters, you the they your really don't want teachers are too afraid to. Which is, you'd think it would be the other way around, but it isn't. Now class, open your books to page 32. Yo-Yo's gutsy plans got messed up by those idiot Kaku police. So now we're entering chapter 6, very interesting part of the game, called Noise Tank Cleanup. Uh, basically, our goal is to destroy 200 noise tanks, and there are going to be, like, basically strewn around all the early levels that we've already visited. So, uh, whoops, I need to be gone. So I'm going to be going to a bunch of different levels and destroying noise tanks. And once I hit 200, I'll be able to go to the next uh, level. There's the bell. So, you may remember like at the very beginning of the run, I unlocked all the souls in this level, but Just didn't get them. them. Uh, I will be getting them now, because I have to go through it anyway and destroy my things. So this is why we left it for this. Oh my god, look at them explode! Yeah. Like, are they canonically robot? and not like actual they are a robot but they are also sentient which is why i consider this kind of genocide um, <laughs> yeah, it's that's my up. uh if you watch my stream that's my split name for this part 
It's genocide. It's genocide? Yeah, because, oh I mean, there's really no other way of looking at it. I mean, they're sentient living creatures with hopes and dreams, and you're just making them explode because they're dancing. I mean, they're evil, but, like, they're, you know, I won't bring politics into this, but whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> They voted against my party lines, they must be destroyed. <laughs> yeah. They did try to kill me and torture me in a weird gladiator type game, but you know. They were just having fun. <laughs> oh yeah, and according to the story... I... Their <laughs> yeah. yeah, so according to the story, um, these noise tanks are being run by... The plot twist is that one of your members got kidnapped at the beginning of Chapter 4, and at the end of Chapter 4 you realize that that character betrayed you and is running the noise tanks. So, oh. we're gonna be able to face off with him once we kill all these noise tanks. It's, it's actually the character whom we controlled in Chapter 1, uh, Yo-Yo. That's the character who uh, gets kidnapped. Quote unquote kidnapped. And, and runs the noise tanks, or does he? So I'm sure you can tell this part of the game is when the story design and gameplay mechanics kind of went off the rails. Um, <laughs> it really does seem that way. Like the story, at the second half of the game, the story kind of falls apart and the production value sort of drops a little bit. I guess they were coming close to the deadline or whatever. Uh, eight souls, good. We're done with this level. Good night, Burr. Thank you for joining us. Night bear. Enjoy okay. hanging with your wife. Alright, so next level is Shibuya, which was the second level in the game. Uh, it's actually faster to go through Garage and then go through this entrance instead of going down all the way down Main Street in Dogenzaka Hill and going in through that way. He's got real waifus. Wow, harsh. <laughs> yeah, but did you put them in your favorite game? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm talking about waifus. Like uh, so yeah, sometimes when you approach a noise tank, um, the game will the game has a lock on feature. Which is those yellow and red like arrows you may have seen like periodically. Uh, these noise tanks don't have those arrows, but you can. I guess it's a programming bug where, like, you used to be able to lock onto them. Then they took it out, but they didn't take it out completely. So sometimes your car your camera can just lock onto nothing and really fuck up your controls. And that only happens with these noise tanks. So I need to watch out for that. It happens every time you reset your camera with the left trigger. So we get three here, and then we take a detour to the soul, which we haven't gotten yet. Because routing. Then we grab this. So we can boost. Then we do this jump here, get this. So there should be one more soul in this level, however we will also be delaying that until the very end of the game because routing. Huh. Because uh, despite, like, this is our like second visit to this level, uh, we're not done. We're going to be doing a third visit for story reasons because there's a boss fight at the end of this game in this level. And will that be the last one that we get? The uh, last soul? No, we have like two more levels after that. Oh, you said the, like the last boss fight at the end of the game. Oh, no, no, no. The last like okay. boss fight in this level. <laughs> oh, in this level. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's always more. <laughs> so we grab this on top of the bus. You gotta go uh, so. And then we grab this and because noise tanks are here. So you let's get these noise tanks. So. Now, any minute so. now, I'm going to get a text box saying I have 10 more. Once I get that, I can just get out of here and move on to... Uh, working on getting to the next level. So, sorry, what were you saying? I was gonna say, is this... That, like... 
There's way more noise tanks than there need to be. Do they respawn? Yeah. No, they okay. do not respawn. Uh, you need oh. 200, and um, there's like, I don't know, like three, 400 total. There's so many levels that I didn't go to because they're too far out of the way. Um, but yeah, you not we, they don't respawn, but there's more than enough uh, for most people. Six. This should be the last one. Good. And now we get on out of here. Sorry. I'm just pausing because I'm paranoid about missing a soul, so I do like a soul check every time I enter a level. Because better safe than sorry. I've had uh, world record runs where it looks like world record, but oops, you forgot a soul. Invalid. So I obviously don't want that to happen again. This is a poison van. He returns. Uh, now that we've beaten him, poison jam kind of helps us throughout the game. Oh, because that's cool. I don't know. I guess they respect us now. So yeah, he told us to go to this level, Sky Dinosaur and Square. Uh, also known as Dino Dash. Sky Dinosaur Square. Now calling the poison jam's info. Yo Yo is biting his time up there. Go find him. Was that the end of genocide? That was the end of genocide, yes. We do not have to commit genocide anymore. Do, do we ever see um, the robots again? Uh, yeah, at the end of this level there's three more, the last three, and <laughs> we killed them too. Oh, Sorry, no. I, I was wrong, we're not done. We still got uh, three more. We will never rest until they are all gone. Yeah. So this Rated level is this level is very similar to skyscraper and that's uh, just like roofs and all on the ground and dead corpse and stuff. Um, and dinosaurs. Yeah. So at the that's at the beginning of the level, if you were to enter the level properly, uh, you would be forced into uh, a boss fight, which if you were to complete would get you warped out of level. That's not good because we need souls, obviously. So we did a death warp and. We death warp in a certain location that we spawned past the trigger of the boss fight. So now we're free to go through the whole level, and then we can, once we have all the souls, we can trigger the boss fight when we're ready. <clears throat> so, uh, we are at this theater area. We are grinding our loop here because we're farming the grind combo challenge, and we're also farming the tricks challenge. Um, there's no better way to do this because one of those souls spawns literally right here and we're not going to come back here during the level. So, that was grind combo, which means tricks should not be far behind. I'm going to start slowing down, because it should be right now. There it is. There that. And we are on our way to do this special challenge. Hopefully I can make this. There we go. So the special challenge in this level is to grind and then jump on this pendulum here that I'm on and then grind again. So you can do it from either direction. You can do it from one side to another side. You can do it from one side to the same side. Uh, it's really just fulfilling that criteria. So this is air combo challenge. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's hard to see where I land there, but there's a point in the geometry of the building where I can land like on a slope of the, like, the architecture, <laughs> and then that's enough to register the air combo challenge because you need the land for it to register. You can't just like do air combos into death, or else that'd be too easy. So uh, that's what happened there. <clears throat> now we go behind this other theater to get another soul at the top of this loop thing. You fall down here because it's faster than grinding now. Here, here we go. We do a Hot Wheels uh, right. right here. Check out that style, baby. Woo! Soul, uh, 
right at the top of this other loop. Here. This game is cool. Yeah, no, this game is definitely uh, pretty stylish. That's why it uh, never got sold, at least for me. Never got sold? What do you mean? Hmm? Oh, it never gets old, I said. Oh, old. Yeah. Okay. It also never sold, that's why there's never been another one, but that's another thing. <laughs> oh. That's really distressing. Because, like, I mean, I never played it. <laughs> I, I haven't played either of them, because I didn't know the Dreamcast is... I guess I just didn't buy this one. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I was buying games at the time. But... Like, you, you, hear, you hear a lot about it, because everyone goes, oh yeah, those games are fucking amazing. Yeah. But it's a very tenacious uh, thing. Kick some booty, y'all. Defeat that traitor. They're yo, very yo. loud. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. there they are. There they are. Oh, but wait, it's not him. It's another robot. <gasps> oh snap! We were fooled the whole time. All right, who, so who this boss that? battles. That's Cube, she's the boss of Poison Jam. We saw her on her throne in chapter two. Oh, right, the hot babe. Yeah, the hot babe in the sewers. <laughs> you could've just said the hot babe. I would've, oh, yeah. you'd be like, oh yeah. All right, so this boss battle is really annoying because if you like bump into them, they fall and then they respawn at the beginning of the level and then you have to go chase them down, which takes a long time. So, I'm gonna try and Kill them quickly. Here, I need to kill. Okay, good. So I needed to kill that middle one like ASAP because if I didn't kill him, he would have started healing this third one, and that's really not good. So he had to go immediately. All right, that was pretty good. Nice, good job. You can easily lose uh, minutes there either by bumping into one of them and making them fall, or just like running out of cans or something. And now that race is dead for good. They are gone. <laughs> yep. These are their final words, and it's... I forget what they say. It's like something about, you better sleep with one eye open from now on or something. <laughs> what are you gonna do, man? You're, <laughs> you're a bunch of junk on the floor. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I was actually meaning to ask. Yes. So, we're collecting all these souls. Do they actually do anything in-game? They unlock different uh, graffiti. So, there's an in-game option menu to uh, change the graffiti. So, you can customize uh, the graffiti spray. Um, there's a whole bunch of different styles from like, real-life artists. They got a lot of real-life artists for this game. Oh, that's awesome. Unfortunately, I uh, like my wife who's better, so we're not going to be seeing any of that. <laughs> Hey, it's okay. We like your wife who's better too. <laughs> but it's it's purely cosmetic. It's purely cosmetic. Yeah. Gotcha. There's some like dumb like hidden message if you get all 140 in the graffiti menu. But, like, you can Google it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Google it. So yeah, this cutscene is introducing the uh, new cop agency in the latter part of the game called the Golden Rhinos. If you play the original Jet Set Radio, you're probably going to recognize these guys. Um, these guys uh, consist of much more difficult like, foot soldiers and also several boss fights that we'll be doing at the end of the run. We're going to be going after like the big lieutenants and shit. The noise tanks have been wiped out. But now, the gang that got implanted with Noise Tanks' brainwashing chip is after the GGs. Where in the world could the real yo-yo be? Alright, so we're going into chapter 7. Defeat the golden um, rhino right. This chapter is notable because we're going to be unlocking yo -yo. our last character called Clutch. Clutch is the character we're going to be using in chapter 8 onwards uh, because he holds more cans than anyone else. Yo. Even though his cornering is absolute garbage, uh, we're going to be dealing with that because it's kind of cans. People were uh, bad mouthing Clutch earlier in chat. Yeah, he is sort of like love him or hate him. A lot of people don't like him because um, if you don't read Japanese, you don't know what just happened. But he just stole all of our graffiti souls. You'll see I have zero right now. So oh we need to go chase down this motherfucker and get all our shit back. Yeah, I guess I would hate him too. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so the way Clutch works is that he goes into one of three levels. Um, and 
if you waste too much time, he'll cycle between the levels. So we want him to go to this one first. He automatically goes to this one first, but we want him to stay here uh, because it's right next to the level that we have to do after this. So we need to get here as fast as we can and talk to him before he uh, before he gets away. Now, if you're playing this casually, you probably don't get clutch in this level because of this annoying top fight with golden rhinos. However, if you reload the level, uh, they magically disappear, and that's basically the way you deal with that. <clears throat> and now we unlock clutch, full of lots of cans, and then we can make our way to the next level. I'm hugging that wall there to avoid retriggering that top fight I just skipped. Uh, it's no big deal, but it's just a little optimization. Alright, so, uh, for this level, it's completely story scripted, so I'm gonna let the cutscene explain it. Soon, when the timer runs out, this building will go kaboom! <laughs> Fools, you continue to cling to the sad notions of camaraderie and friendship, and because of it, your pitiful little lives will end in a grand display of fireworks. The golden rhinos have planted a time bomb. Somewhere so the goal of this level is to zone. defuse a time bomb. If you don't do it in 30 minutes, the game is over. Yeah, oh my gosh. Uh, luckily I can do it in like 7 minutes, so it's not a big deal. So... Because of this bomb scenario, uh, the game treats this as one giant cop fight. Uh, this whole chapter is basically one giant cop fight, so... Uh, like I said before, with cop fights, uh, the game locks us out of unlocking souls. So, unfortunately, we can't do anything this level right now souls-wise. So we're gonna have to revisit this level at the end of the game to actually get the souls and do the category. So right now, this is just like any percent uh, diffuse the bomb as fast as possible. And we can do some clever boost jumps to transfer levels pretty quickly. Oops, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Let's try that again. There we go. This is one of the sections where you do not want to frame boost because if you have too much speed, you will go flying into who knows where direction and we'll just waste time. So, who was it who was bad mouthing our friendship? To deactivate all of the blue devices. What, this guy on the tape here? Yeah. Oh, it, uh, uh, these are the golden rhinos. They did like the new powerful cop agency that we have to deal with. Uh, we were lured here. So they brought our kidnapped uh, member to the top of this level. He's being like suspended in a cage. It's pretty hilarious. But uh, <laughs> that was basically a trap to lure our gang here. And then they set up a bomb, and their goal is to basically blow up the entire district and kill us. Uh, but we're not going to let that happen. Wow. We have graffiti. Almost as bad as real life cops. Yeah. <laughs> This is probably out there like, I have to shut her up. She can't. Stop. Stop talking about this. <laughs> Sorry, Chubbs. <clears throat> Alright, so this level is very open ended, as you can see, so there's really not much to say. It's just like memorizing where to jump and then doing those jumps. This is a pretty cool strategy here. Save a little time. Ooh. This is a risky jump. I, I like those. I like I like the huge risky jumps where you're just like yeah. almost um the faithing it. Yeah. That's some of the most satisfying things in speedrunning this game. It's not really the glitches, although the glitches are like pretty good, I guess. It's really the movement and like how you use the mechanics to do some pretty crazy stuff. Kind of the part of this game me. The uh, whoops, I'm doing uh, the soul scout. I don't want to do that. I want to go up now, go say yo -yo. I thought I had a green fire. I'll be doing that route when I come back here, but not right now. Now that the bombs are defused, we are free to 
go up to our friend Yo-Yo from Freehan. And you're supposed to go through all these different staircases and like breakable platforms and stuff, but you can just do this jump and then save like two minutes for platforming. And that's Ooh. that. Heads up! You got golden rhinos incoming! We finally I saved our friend. Like yep, it only took four Take seconds. Now, like, before then, you were playing him at the very beginning. Yeah. And you couldn't... Could you play him before, uh... Before now? Oh, like, after chapter 4? No, like, his... like, before he had been kidnapped? Uh, we could play him before he had been kidnapped, up till chapter 3. And then in chapter 4, he disappears, and we're not allowed to pick him until we rescue him. Okay. So that's a solid, like... Casually, that's a solid, like, 5 to 10 hours of not having Yo-Yo. Or is he, like, any even worth playing? Um, I, I don't think so. Harsh. <laughs> Dumb as that animal. Harsh. I think. He had heard a rumor on the streets about the golden rhinos who tried to find him by himself. Alrighty. This is chapter 8, basically the final chapter in the game. Um, there's a lot of boss fights and now I'm the star, like, the top just of general soul press, cleanup I gave you the low in the two levels that we weren't able to get souls this in the before. This is the first time I've been on top since, since the burping contest in elementary school. This time I've got nothing to say except it's time to get my so I don't think I've forgotten any souls so far. So, now, I hear some I hope not. God, I hope not. <laughs> He's showing his face all if yeah, not, I'll see, I'll see what my time is, and if I have time, I'll go back and get it. If not, then this run will be invalid, whatever. It's a shit run I love this, like, weird-ass robot dancing. Like, it looks like a Dragon Ball Z character. Like, yeah. what the fuck is so this? So that character is Zero Beat. We'll be fighting him later in the chapter. Um, he's like a robot that does the bidding of... Uh, like the main bad guy. Zero beat. Now Zero you beat. have a dude. Whose yeah, name we have a dude beat. named Beat. So I don't really know how they're connected. It's never really explained explicitly. It's, I guess just a kind of cool concept thing. Although it is worth noting that in the original Jet Set Radio on the game cast, uh, Beat was the main character that you started playing as. And he's the one who starts uh, your game that you're playing as. Well, like, so, yeah, he's... Playing. He seems like he's a main dude here, you're just not playing as him. Yeah. <laughs> like, he like, as he was kinda, there. You got kind of demoted because you don't start playing as him, like, at the beginning of the game. You start as Yoyo. -Yo. And, uh, and you're like yeah. hanging out with Beat though, right? Yeah, yeah, he's, he, yeah, he's in my crew. Yeah. yeah. We unlocked him because we had to. <laughs> so this is Claw Guy, he's very annoying. Um, I'm gonna try to do a strat called No Cycle Claw Guy, which is basically killing him before he flies away. But uh, it's pretty hard, so I'm gonna stop trying. And you need 35 pants for this stuff that you need to touch. Oh no, he has one health left. Okay, so sadly I missed picking up that blue can during my quick turns, so uh, I wasted too much time while he was on the floor, which means I wasn't able to spray him in time. So I have to do this now with all the way. There we go, he's dead. Poor Claw Guy. No, he's... I have no sympathy for him. <laughs> I kind of love him. Like, he looks like a plumber with like... Oh my god, and the missiles. Yeah. Oh, now that is amazing. Team Rocket is blasting. Oh my fucking god, he's dead! Yeah, he dies. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> he's just straight up dead. I said we were done with genocide. I didn't say we were done with straight up murder. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> thank you for warning me. <laughs> Alright, so we're here now. We get the last soul on this level. All the way in chapter 8. And the soul check. 8 souls, good. And we are out of here. Still not done with the murder. No, it's okay. No, it's cool. 
Like, as long as it's for a good cause, I mean, that dude was clearly <laughs> dangerous. Yeah. Running around like a fucking cosplaying plumber who's like a really big fan of Bionic Commando. Yeah, whatever, he deserved to die. I don't want to go that way. I want to go that way. Yeah. Only a little F, he was being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the problem with that boss fight is that his claws uh, are hurt boxes that are always active no matter what. So you saw oh. at the beginning of the fight, I boost into him. Sometimes I won't boost into him, I'll boost into his claws. And that will like take priority over my boost dash and it will knock me back, uh, knock me back and like instantly waste time. So that's not fun, that's why I think. Alright, so we're going back into the sewers to go back to Fortified Residential Zone, which is where we were in Chapter 7 with the bombs, um, because we still need souls from there, so... Yeah, I agree, that is a little harsh. Yeah, sometimes I boost into his claws, uh, because he always has a hitbox, so he fucking deserves to die. Yep. Not only die, but he's carried up into the sky, and it takes like seven seconds for them to explode. <laughs> During that time, he has to contemplate his mortality. Anyway, this cool game is happening. <laughs> so now we're back into this level. Uh, the first objective in this level is to get the tape. So, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna jump and curve this way, because the tape is in this tube here. There it is. Now we're gonna do air combo. Wait, no we're not. Now we're gonna do uh, points. That's what we're gonna do. Right. On this bonus rail here. Uh, good. So now this giant hunk of metal that you're about to see me grind, it was not here during the bomb phase. They just put it here to have an easier time for players to go back up. However, oh. uh, it has this glitch. <laughs> I'm just mashing A right now, and I'm getting a hundred tricks to unlock a soul. There it is. So how that works Yay! is, if you're on a perfectly vertical rail, and you go, you start to slide backwards, and then you mash A, you will like, do tricks like forever, as long as you keep mashing. So that's how that works. It makes a very difficult challenge, a 100 tricks, which is the most of any level. Uh, into something very trivial. And incredibly fun to watch. Yeah. I don't know if you had sound, but it sounds pretty funny too. <laughs> I actually didn't. Like, I assume it's it's a bunch of metal clanging, so it's probably... Like... Well, that's the thing. Characters have sound bites for every time they do a trick of them, like... Like, ex exclaiming cheerfully or whatever. Oh no. <laughs> so, that very fast, a hundred times, is what you're hearing. That's wonderful. Now we're getting a soul here. Right there. I'm gonna do nine air combos. Very tricky. You got One, two, three, four. Fuck, I just fucked up. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I missed air combos, and there's no good backup for that, so I'm gonna have to just, like, go back up on the giant piece of metal, climb all the way back up, and just try again. Because I missed. Because it's such an open-ended level, it lags a bit when you're like falling through the sky like that. So it messes up with air combo timing. Good. Okay. Now we're back on track. I'm going very slowly there because there's a really weird invisible wall, and if you hit it, you fall down into the maze. And that's really annoying because there's no easy way to get out of that. I guess this is a maze. Yeah, this is this whole level is a maze if you don't know what you're doing. Like casually, this level is an absolute nightmare because usually you can rely on the map, but like look at this. This map is absolutely useless. Yeah, like it's just it's a just huge... a box with dots in it. Yeah. Who are all these people that you're scaring the fuck out of? Oh, these are the people that live here. Oh, okay. Uh, please make it. Oh, well, I like if I wasn't afraid of heights, I think it might be cool to live here. 
There's parts in this level where you can see the pedestrians, uh, the civilians who live here, running in hamster wheels because they need to generate their own electricity. Oh my god. So that's how ghetto this is. Alright, so now we're back up here. And there's a How do you here. even live here? Poorly, I would assume. <laughs> uh, for not very long. <laughs> Inefficiently. I mean, you just scared that dude off the fucking, like, yeah. stairway. <laughs> He's dead. I'm not above that. <laughs> Alright, so. Haha, <laughs> we're the good gang. We're here to stop the evil fascist dictator from killing people. Wow, well, get out of here, poor person. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I have no uh, defense. That's pretty much how it is. Apparently, these people are like sound like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> get out of here, loser. Yeah. We're gonna do this little clip here to get the last soul. None of this has collision if you're going from the top, so we're gonna fall. You got to oh my goodness. So and we fall down to the bottom, and we soul check, eight souls, good, and we're done. So, we have one more level with souls left, and that has eight souls in it, and our total was 125, so we should have 117. This is the moment of truth, and we do have 117. That means I didn't take any thing, which means this run is valid. Yay! Uh, you're valid. As long as you don't die, you're kind of low on health. Yeah, no, I'm fine. If you say so. You would know better than I. One good thing about uh, the hub level in this game, which is the garage, is that because it's your base, every time you go into it, it refills your health. So oh, it's, uh, okay. it's, yeah, it's a free, it's a free refill. So, like I'm here, my leg is broken. Oh no, I'm better now. That's how Gum survives all those like incredible falls. <laughs> Because she just, she just has, has to a get really, herself really back to bed. get herself back to the garage somehow. Yeah, these are golden rhinos. Um, they're basically like the normal, like the soldier cops, except they just take more damage. Kind of so they're a little tricky because they can like latch onto you, and they don't stay down for very long. Uh, and you can only spray them when they're like down on the ground. <laughs> Were they called silver rhinos? Uh, golden rhinos. Golden rhinos. And they're just like creepy dudes in trench coats. Yeah, they're the police agency that the big bad guy hired when his previous police agency failed at killing you. So that's why you like remember the guy like with the gun early on in the game? Yeah. Yeah, he's been fired, so we're not gonna see him here. Oh, okay. I guess it's a better fate than most uh, bad guys in this game. That's true. He could have been fucking... Exploded. Yeah, like, shot up in a rocket and exploded. <laughs> Alright, so now we're back at Highway Zero. Uh, the last level. Practically. Um... There's still some, like, endgame stuff after this, but, uh, this is the last level of actual, like, soul-collecting gameplay. So, first thing, we're gonna head to the market and get tape. Just the tape, and then we're gonna do air combo. There's a faster way to air unlock air combo later on in the level, but I'm gonna add it, and it's very really difficult, so I do it here, which is much safer. Snacks, okay. And now we're going to grind on these outer pipes uh, because we're gonna be doing a trick challenge. And then on the last one of these pipes, we're going to be slowing down and doing the coming combo challenge also. There's a bit of multitasking going on here. Uh, there's also a special challenge uh, in this level which has trouble registering, what a surprise. So you'll, you'll be seeing me uh, slow down on the wall end. I don't actually need to like, keep the combo going. That was the point soul, because wall rides give a lot of points. And it didn't register. Alright. We'll, we'll go do that again. Alright, so 
There we go. So now there's a graffiti soul in this little garbage pit here. So let's get that. And then we wait a minute. I didn't get tricks. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, oh. I did not get the trick soul, even though I thought I did, so I need to... Mm, uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do some routing on the fly here. Ooh! Uh, some high-tech shit. God damn it. There's a clip here that I'm trying to do uh, that'll bring me back to the market. Uh, come on, please. That always gives me trouble, like, the worst time. It's really not that hard. Let me try to do it from the wire. There we go. Yeah, from the wire is a lot easier. I'm gonna do that from now on. So yeah, that's a out of bounds we do. It brings it back here. And we get this soul behind the, the phone booth that we didn't get last time. Yeah, apparently that was only 67 tricks instead of 70. So, uh, wow. <clears throat> so yeah, we need to get this soul in the corner. That's the whole reason we had to come back here, because the special soul, like, spawns, like, at the beginning of the level. So, we have to come back here. Luckily that there's a handy dandy little clip uh, that'll save some time. Alright, so now let's actually get this trick soul. that, um, like, thought bubble? Hmm? Oh, um, thought. like, little thought bubbles appear next to graffiti. Um, oh. that just tells you, like, what size they are. It doesn't really mean anything, but it's just a little detail they added. There we go. Okay, so that's the soul that I was just went for. So now we're back on track. Excellent. Now we can grab this. Uh, two more souls left in the game. How exciting. Almost there. Yeah, this is the second to last one. But before we get to the last one, we're gonna do a boss fight, which is down I thought there was one more soul um, that you didn't get in the first level. Um, no, no, I got everything. I checked. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. I remember. Wait. No, I pretty sure. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, that's why I do plenty of uh, soul checks. You know, That's a good there's idea. There's a lot of souls in this game. Yeah, the strat, the strat for this boss is to just keep tapping here and never let it get up. Oh They'll just quick turns and just run into her. And that she, is she also dies a, a awful death. So enjoy oh that. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. Who even was she? Uh, she was one of the golden Rich rhinos. She was like the same level as the claw guy. My signal. Oh. Yeah, no, she deserved it. Yeah, you know, she was a good one. She got hired, you know, fuck her good jobs and shit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, soul check 125. Uh, we're done with souls. That's what they do. in law enforcement, what a fucking asshole. <clears throat> so, the entrance to the next level is right next to uh, Sky Dino. So we're going to be doing a clip that gets us closer to that. Not a clip, but a death warp. <clears throat> so if you're not paying attention to the story, what's happening is DJ Professor K just got kidnapped, and we have to go rescue him. Okay. Let me death warp here. First and only time we talk with Zero Beat. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Professor K got arrested. Yeah, he got kidnapped. We have to go rescue him. Okay. Check out that style. He was just being really fucking awesome. 
That's the thing, according to the story, he got arrested He got arrested because he gave us, like, the gang, clues on, like, the police whereabouts, so... Is he being carried with his fucking setup? Yeah, they got his, uh... They got his workstation, too. We <laughs> <laughs> go arrest that man, but don't separate him from his hot beats. Yeah. So, okay, this boss battle is kind of unique. It's a giant train with four spots to spray. So, this battle is all about um, jumping and boosting at the right time so that you don't fall behind, but you also don't land into it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, so this last one we kind of have to do like catch up. Oh, yeah, we also have to dodge this. That's a bomb. Uh oh. A little bomb go kart. Okay. Nice, okay. You can see just how much the game lags uh, while this stream is exploding. Oh my gosh. Like, it gets really bad during the game. The end game commences. This is the big bad of the game, uh, Goji. He's the one who is behind everything evil that we have seen. He's, he's dancing. Yeah. If you don't, if you have sound, his, his voice is very entertaining as I think. Oh, I love it! That's the chapter we saw. Uh, that's the tower we saw in the Death Ball that I said was for Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact: uh, Goji's voice in the English version is uh, Charles Martin, also does manga. Oh my gosh! Really? That's he goes. He goes. Ham. It's actually pretty impressive. Alright, so just in that cutscene, the Japanese version saves, I think, over a minute from English version. So these two cutscenes, the previous one and this next one here, the, they're the only reasons why Japanese is faster. So a full minute of Charles Martinet hamming. Yeah, he says a lot more in the English version. Or at least he speaks a lot more, a lot slower for dramatic oh, yeah so once you enter the level with the train um, that commences the end game and every other level uh, besides this one should be a terminal is locked off so if you don't have all the souls by that point you're fine. well you could just reload a save oh wait oh wait no. <laughs> That's the thing that a lot of people don't realize about running this game is that uh, you don't play. I mean, no there are no backups. Well, I mean, they're backups, but, but like. Yeah, but if you die, I mean, like, it's, like, it's not like that hard to die unless you're not like, okay. so, What even is this fucking thing that he's in? It's got like. He's, Freeze the like, sun back in the there. In this version, he's yelling about like controlling all art and thought and like broadcasting from that tower the one true art which was like all about him or something like it's oh, pretty is, it's pretty wild. is is that him is that his true soul oh my god that's something he made in like art class when he was like <laughs> yeah. in college and no one understood it it was his dark uh descent into yeah. madness Alright, so we just got to spray these two uh, zero beats here. Um, pretty simple. Uh, if he jumps there, he dies there. And we go over here, uh, we, ref we refill our cans with these blues here, and we go meet up the other uh, zero beats. And we spray until dead. Spray until dead. And that's it.
Well, that's not it. I mean, there's one more oh. boss battle with the final okay. boss battle, but no. It's, so it's, it's not time. time yet. It's not time yet. Okay, is it coming up soon? It's uh, coming up in the next five minutes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy, we're kicking it live. Welcome to the new year. Also, there's a lot of time too. Why with hold this issue? Because the voice yeah, sample is the voice, like audio sample, is exactly the same. It's just that the text in the English version scrolls a lot slower, and the text ends like a full 35 seconds after the DJ Kirby stopped talking. It's one of those little oversights that Chet always has over here. So, yeah, it's not over yet. He like sucks us into his tower to do battle in his <laughs> Look at all those people from yeah, the he best. sucks in innocent people too and like buses and trucks and shit. Oh my god. Welcome to the fucking madness yeah, dimension. Yeah, uh, his voice here is also really good because it's uh, disturbing. Because he... Well, you'll see what happens to him. So here's the final boss fight. I knocked into those uh, ninja guys to spawn cans because it's impossible to beat this guy in one trip. You're gonna have to boost dash him twice to unlock his, to like shatter his defenses and reveal his health. And then you need cans to spray him. So we're gonna do it in two trips here. So that's knocking him down once. Uh, we're gonna knock, we're gonna go, go back down. I'm gonna knock right now. Gonna go back down and um, get cans like so. All right, and this is our final trip up. We're gonna boost dash him, into him one more time and then spray him until he's dead. So time okay. is when his health bar is, reaches zero, so it's going to be pretty obvious. Alright. I missed. Alright. Me an asshole. Uh, okay, I don't think I have enough hands. I'm going to do a third trip. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, uh, time is not yet. <laughs> I have to go back down and get more cans. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, the current world record for this, I uh, choked on this boss, fa uh, boss fight and lost a minute. So that's always fun. Uh, I'm just gonna get Max just to see. It's, you, don't, you really don't want to spend a lot of time on ground level because there are a ton of ninjas and they will like chain, like grab you and knock you down and take away all your health. All right, now time is when this goes away. <laughs> and time. All right. Good job, GG. Oh man, that was about us. That was really bad. Yeah, not a good run at all. Many things went wrong, but uh, I didn't forget a soul. I didn't die, so. Didn't forget his soul, and the number one thing, it was very entertaining. Everyone give him a great round of applause. He did a great job. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Anything uh, else you want to say? Like, shout um, outs? If you have any interest at all in this game, please check us out. We have uh, a speedrun.com page, speedrun.com slash JSRF. We have a Discord, and many helpful, me helpful members. Uh, who will help you with whatever you need. And, uh, so if you have any desire at all, just uh, once again, hit us up and we'll hook you up. Alright. Well, thank you so much, uh, Rix, for that amazing run. Uh, give us a little bit and we'll be back with uh, Zephyr with a Crusader of Senti run. So just give us a little bit and we'll be right back. And the more people to push, yeah, we're gonna the take the stream down uh, shortly. Comes. We're gonna change the streamer, so uh, do not be alarmed. This is intended. Uh, we will be back oh, very panic. shortly. Do not panic. Everything panic. is fine. Jumpus is leaving us. Grandpa Jumpus is leaving us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 